This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't give a what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time and attack. The Wrestling Mayhem Show episode... 672 Tuesdays we've been talking to professionalized wrestling. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron here on the Twitters and coming at you from the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And we're talking wrestling. We're talking worldwide wrestling, international wrestling. We're talking about wrestling right here. And with us, uh, 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 interstate wrestling with uh, Mad Mike, the only Mayhemmer with a, a future endeavored letter from the WWE. At least one. Woo woo. At least the hell are you implying I don't, I don't know <laughs> we'll see how this show goes i i guess and, and also apparently the only one on the show who's a, span, a fan of spider-man 3 oh uh, <laughs> you know what i don't hate spider-man 3 but it is my uh eighth favorite spider-man wow okay know. all right spider-man spider-man 3 is better than batman begins <gasps> just saying just saying oh damn Oh, now we're going to yeah. fight. Um, but before that fight begins, we have with Wait, us, first whoa. of all, as er- advertised, he is a product of the uh, Fight Society Institute. I got that right? Yeah. yeah right I don't know. You're, wear- you're wearing Rise Academy right yeah, now, I so I was really confused. Right. You're just yeah. like, no, I just I bought the shirt, wearing, man. I just bought the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I need a shirt for work. He represents <laughs> everything. <laughs> Zeke Mercer is with us on the there show, I believe, the first Ooh. time on the Mayhem show itself. Yeah, first time. Mayhem but we did show. do an indie mayhem show injured. with you earlier. Yeah, and of like, course, a lot of things happening with Fight Society, and you just came off of the Uprise show this past weekend. Hence, why the shirt. We'll tell. Oh, we'll catch yeah. it. It's the shirt because <laughs> I just bought it, and I was like, "Listen, I need. A shirt I, need I got some popcorn and some shirt, and I'm good. Right. I'm good. That's what I got out of the Connellsville this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> popcorn and a shirt. Yeah, that's popcorn right. And a shirt. That's right. Hot dog and a handshake. And hot dog and a handshake. There you go. And maybe some donuts at ringside. Oh, uh, donuts. Thing. Yeah, yeah. You didn't see Officer Dan's uh, confrontation there. Well, no. He kind of like you know, kind of like you know, uh, beat the shit out of you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that happened. Okay, we'll get to that in a moment. <laughs> but also with us is a surprise guest. We did announce him a little quickly last night. Keith Hot, the Bearcat, is with us. Meow, meow, meow. Good to see you guys again. He's back <laughs> on. This is your first time in studio on the Mayhem yes, Show. Yes, yeah. Yes! We, we Skyped and stuff that one time. Yay! And, Joe, I guess, but, yeah. I, and of course, you were here um, uh, several weeks ago. Yeah, we yeah. We played the WWF <laughs> WrestleMania VCR game, and it was amazing. That was a hoot. Oh, I had a kick that. That was a good time. I love <laughs> when we had to cut promos on each other <laughs> from the cards they gave us. Wait. That was the best part. It's right there. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a VHS game. Oh, right man. With Zeke, that's going to be an experience. Yeah, we got to get you on you, that You do game. know what a VHS is, Yes, right? I have yeah, one. I, was say, <laughs> I have one. You know but, like, there was a game? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. It's right there. Yeah, man. Do you know what WWF is? It's right here somewhere. Yes, yeah, we do know what WWF is. Yes, I have an orange Rugrats tape. I know what VCR is. Oh, those orange <laughs> tapes. Oh, oh. Okay. Those orange tapes are the bomb. I love those. Oh, yeah, I remember those. I had the green Sesame Street one. <gasps> yeah. That's, I think, those are rare. I think you don't get that with DVDs. Blues, blues the blue no, ones, you don't. I think. No, you don't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyways, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, and some of us have uh, still VHS tapes of our WWF uh, shows from back in the 80s. But anyways, uh, you can check us out at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, where you can find links and subscribe to this podcast and video uh, a podcast and video form, or look us up on your favorite platform. We're probably around. Uh, you can also uh, speak to your speaking device, uh, your Google Home, your Amazon Echo, your your uh, Apple HomePod, and uh, ask to podcast the Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can drop us an email at that email address. Good times. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com or 412-206-WMAT0. Tweet us at Mayhem Show and follow Wrestling Mayhem Show on Facebook and the Great Wrestling Mayhem Show group Please. where you can be part of the conversation with our crew. Uh, and a lot of things that we do uh, uh, you know, kind of informs what we lead into uh, the, these shows with. Also, you can join us every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern on Facebook Live or on a few other platforms as well uh, for Wrestling Mayhem Show, Twitter, Twitch, etc. Uh, but of 
course, the main chat is happening here on the Facebook page. Also, thank you to our Patreon supporters at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Our friends at the fan of the show $1 level, Bo Diggity! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Ed Burke, Bobby F. J. Town, Tina Keys, and our friends at Team Hammer Fist. Our friends at the Pocky Club five dollar level, where we will um, we will attempt to get the Keith and Zeke uh, shoot in- interview, or maybe I'll be a pilot for a podcast. I don't know. I don't know. It's gonna be the more podcast. I'm down. The the the, the Geek Squad. The Zeke, the Geek Squad. The Zeke Squad. The, the Zeke Squad. Zeke Squad. Oh, oh, there's dude. There's something for your fans. Oh, oh, Zeke what's, Squad. Up, what's up, Zeke Squad? Come on Friday night. I think Zeke. I think you just got your first T-shirt. There you there go. You go. Yeah. Hashtag Zeke Squad. And yeah, you cool. should totally not rip off a large big box chain company when you do that. No, 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 no. Hold on a second. You definitely Ooh. shouldn't do anything We need like to that. correct your title now. No, Hold no, on. We got to go in here. Go in here. Leader of the Geeks Zeke Squad. Uh-oh. 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 Everybody. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no, I can't type. Uh-oh. No, you cannot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, wait, how do you spell squad? There's no, there's no you know. in squad, man. Squad. All right, everybody. Hashtag Zeke Squad tonight. Oh, Hashtag her, squad goals. No, don't. Did I, I spell squad right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Squad, but I, I can hear Cisco, Cisco Silver saying squad all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> squad. That's all I hear right now. I don't know. I have not had a conversation. Cisco, I, I, I'm impressed with every match I see him in, but I have not had a conversation with Cisco yet. He's funny. Uh, he's, anyways, a, he's a good dude. He's a good yeah, dude. He's a really yeah. good dude. But all I, I hear is squad. squad. <laughs> uh, it was uh, it, it, the, the rest of the plugs. Uh, also to our friends at the Pocket Club, $5 level. Bradley Brothers, Doc Remedy, Dave Potter of the Tiny Shutter Podcast, Kyle Turner, and Daniel Towery. Uh, our friends at the Pizza Club, $10 level, Ryan Clark at $13. And our manager, $20 for Occupy Pro Wrestling. Uh, you guys, again, can support the show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. There was some wrestling this week. There's some big changes. There's some big new shows. A lot to watch free this weekend, including AEW All Elite Wrestling. The oh, T-shirt company had a wrestling show. Uh, <laughs> and it's the first one I watched because I just didn't get time to uh, locate and put the money down for the first one. Uh, so, but it was a lot easier to watch Fighter Fest this yes. weekend for me oh, uh, as nice. I was editing two wrestling shows on Sunday. Um, but um, I, So so Fighter Fest was part of the CEO Fighting Championship. So pretty cool uh, conjunction they were doing with a video game tournament. Of course, you know Kenny Omega's uh, conjunction with that. We've seen the videos with him and uh, uh, Xavier Woods in the past. So, so we know that there's something going on there. So it was a pretty cool kind of synergy thing for them to do for their second show. Get the um, word out. Kind of cool. M- Mad Mike has differing opinions, but I think I we got it's a, pretty awesome. We got some pretty cool. geeky uh, uh, crew on here yeah. uh, in yeah. general. Okay, let, let's touch on that then. What did, what did you guys think about that? I, I've never heard of the CEO tournament until – until this event. So actually this this grew me into what is CEO. I think they did it a little bit last year of yeah. like New Japan stuff, I think. Did they? Yeah, just so, a yeah. just a tiny bit. It's a little yeah. bit more okay, a little tiny bit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, good, better. Okay. But, uh, yeah, yeah, so wasn't that where the the um owners feud with Michael Nakazawa started? Is it, is I it really? So. I think it's so. Yeah, last year I think it's where it started. So, so let's talk about that. So I the believe. owner of this, apparently, I, I don't know if he's uh, – the, 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 I saw a bit about him training, and I don't know if he was training for a match or he's a trained wrestler in general. No, no, he's just he's doing just, for that match. It, it was just he's definitely match. not a trained wrestler. Think, okay. Think, no, no, it was I just that match. Kenny worked with him a little bit because they did a match last – Last last time they did this, yeah, okay, because uh, yeah, cause he hurt himself. So they're one and one in the series. Yeah, yeah, and he hurt yeah. himself too. He yeah. hurt himself. Yeah, he got hurt, and you know, because he's so, a, because he's an untrained wrestler. Yes. Well, yeah, yeah. but yeah. It was I mean, like, I think it was I like a, s- oh, it was like a it was like a freak accident. He just yeah. like, it was the whole time it was knee. I forgot what it was, uh, but. It Nakazawa like a, made him look amazing. Though. I didn't know anything Nakazawa about did a good Nakazawa job. until I watched his Fire Fire match, and I was like, "This is amazing." Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, love, I love, I love his gimmick. Oh. So, I, so I, Nakazawa, explain Nakazawa for people that haven't seen him yet, because I don't think I you know, maybe don't, not everybody's seen. I don't yeah, know like, how to explain Nakazawa. It's almost, it's almost he, like he, it's, he, it's almost like he, Party Boy, like Japanese Party Boy with baby oil, essentially. You like have the, to like legitly. You have to the, see him. He's the only hot oil wrestler. Yes, right. He's a hot oil wrestler. That does not allow hot oil wrestling. Right, right. <laughs> and and he's one of those people like you have to see 
yeah. rather than talk about. Because yeah, you yeah. won't get how funny he is until you see him. Like yeah, uh, yeah. So like certain comments, like Bill Burr. You had to listen to. I Bill can't Burr. What's, what's his first name? Michael. 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 Michael, Michael. Naka. Naka. Nakazawa. Right. Right. It's, yeah. It's yeah. Hashtag squad goals. So there, there's a point where he will, he will baby oil to get out of a move. Somebody slips oh. on it. By the way, Bryce Rems, Bryce Ramsberg as the referee for that match was perfect. Oh my god, he was great. He, he was, it's, it's, it's so good to him. see him on on this level of a platform. Uh, you know, knowing I mean Bryce is a former. He he, he used to when I first started seeing IWC like you know, 13 years ago. Uh, he was a the referee there, and he, you know, known for Shakara, of course. Uh, he's done a lot That's of me. stuff. So Wait. <laughs> no, just my. What's up? Oh, everybody's getting comfortable. Readjusted everybody's readjusting to the Bumps couch. Hurt, man. Just hashtag sc- squad goals. Yeah, Zeke squad. Zeke squad. I swear to God, Cisco comes at me with assist and assist order. All because of Zeke squad. I'm really mad. Where did you get the paperwork to get this? <laughs> Wait, how do you get my address? You're making trouble. <laughs> making trouble. Making trouble. It better not be here, care of Sorgatron Media. But, um... <laughs> Anyways, uh, so so that that was a fun thing, um, and and it did, it did seem like if you watched the pre-show, there was a lot more shenanigans I felt than the rest of the show. I, 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 I hated, it so I hated them. I, hated I the enjoyed time. the pre-show. Everyone hates the pre-show. For Mad Mike hates the pre-show. I loved it. Why do you hate no, the pre-show? No. The matches were fine. Mm-hmm. That okay. first match, Jesus! That could yeah, have, no, that, that could have that main evented anything. That that first match, that first, was like, match. Uh, that first match was amazing. Mm-hmm. Oh my yeah. god, it was great. But. The hey, librarian you... thing? I love them. I love. I think your... it's cool. It's I think not, give it time not, too. I'm oh sorry. Go ahead. It's not working. It's only your second. Sh- it's like your first show doing it. But <laughs> and it's the second time. Okay. It's not first working. of all, I know Leva. Like I've been watching Leva Bates for years. Mm-hmm. I love her cosplay, so I know mm-hmm. she can pull off this all librarian. No, I, I own. I'm one of the only people that own the blue pants shirt. Oh, I, nice. I, I, see, I respect Bates. that. Now Peter Avalon, I don't know much about maybe yeah, because he was like maybe like a popular like well, he's from cali right from california i think well because well i don't really know him that well and that's yeah. you know but like ever since i see him all as a librarian i love this it's just it fits him like i don't know i can see the librarian when i look at him leva she can do any cosplay ever mm-hmm. you know she could be samson mm-hmm. from, like, like it would just work <laughs> I, I guess i think i i, I think it, it could use more work but mm-hmm. i think from what i saw i really enjoyed it i feel like Given that put that gimmick in the wrong hands and they would totally right. shit the bed. I, I feel like it's kind of a challenge. They're just uh, like oh. somebody had a weird drunken night uh, yeah. uh, amongst that 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 crew. I, was it like a the, dare, like to get? Is it? Like, I they didn't have a chair or something. They're, they're just like, listen, can we get over the character of a librarian? <laughs> and is what this better a thing way that can happen? And what better way is a nerdy? Mm-hmm. Romance. Mm-hmm. Oh my! Like so awkward. <laughs> but, it's, but it That's works. Yeah. Like, I, I, but like also, I'll... also, like how much was happening for us at home, and how much was happening to relate to that feels like something that related more to gaming people that yeah. were at that that convention. Shh. Oh, but I, I felt like the commentary was insulting to gamers and wrestling fans. Uh, Jim Ross, yes. Jim Ross doesn't and, know much about I, gaming. I think. I, I know. I, does that come I, on the A track? <laughs> oh, no, it is. It's, I don't know the Street AEW's Fighter. <laughs> what is AEW's the Street Fighter? It's AEW's fault. They is should it? not have Jim Ross no, on no, no. commentary. Okay, um, but like, if you're gonna say, "Hey, we signed Jim Ross," and would yeah. it would not be a it's, good idea to put Jim Ross on every broadcast but, you have. So, put Jim Ross on your title matches. Mm-hmm. I didn't think he was that bad, really. I think but he like joked, he, but he he he's he's a little racist. Uh, and a little sexist, yeah. But is and Jim a little Ross, homophobic like, and a little transphobic. You have all those things in AEW. I don't want Jr. talking about those things. Mm-hmm. See, I, didn't, I didn't hear that in the broadcast. Maybe, but maybe I was more focused on the wrestling. Then. Right? Maybe the wrestling caught my attention. I wasn't really paying attention more <laughs> the word. But I, I, I mean, was, it I could be like MLW. Where, where, what's that one game? Uh, what's the guy's name? Sam McCall has spilling him. Forgot. Hmm? You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. One guy, um, one wrestling figure, I forgot his name. I don't know why I'm blanking on him. But he, like, said some mean stuff about Sonny Kiss. Like, oh, Mon- Jim Cornette. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, oh, I don't yeah, know why yeah, I'm blanked no. on that guy's name. We, but like, we oh, don't geez. need that. No, I'm saying. it could be as worse as Jim Cornette. I don't think mm-hmm. he said anything no, back it's to that not. level. No, no, but no, like, no, no. It's I, not. I, it's Jim Ross is an old man. Yeah. yeah like, That's what it is. I don't I, want him right. calling I have more faith in Jim Ross than Jim Cornette. Well, yes. I, I have, I have <laughs> like, neither I, of them. 
Oh, yeah, I have yeah, faith yeah. in neither of them. If there, if there was like all these like progressive movements that came out of all the announcements from AEW, and they're like, and we signed Jim Cornette, I'm like, Ooh. well, burn this down. <laughs> uh, just, what are we even doing? Take away um, no, no. no oh, and, and I, so Jim, I think you know Jim Ross doesn't have those connotations typically, and and I haven't noticed on commentary. Yeah, but again, I haven't noticed I, either. I, I'm not I'm not listening as close as you are, um, Mike. Hey, you said admittedly, Orientals. Not, he said Orientals. Oh my God, did he really? Well, I mean, yes, and he said. I have daughters that could look up to these women. Well, maybe not this one. And Nyla Rose comes out. <gasps> oh! Yes! Oh, this is what I'm saying! Like, okay, I missed that. I, I, listen, isn't that more... If you actually listen, it's fucking terrible. Well, it's, I mean... <laughs> I mean, uh, Devil's Advocate, she is a, like a monster heel, but I get that. That's, okay, that's maybe pretty bad. Like, to the heel pretty bad. part, but, yeah. but that, that is pretty bad. I can get, I can get how that would be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. that could be taken really, really bad. bad. Oh, oh, really that's bad. Well, I you know hope... that's not what he meant. Like, hmm. like maybe he didn't refer to the. Like, he just referred to the defi- the heel. Like, I want. No, if you if you listen to how he called, like, watch the Nyla Rose match again, and don't look at the screen. Just listen. Okay, next it's time I will. Not, oh, yeah, I will. Not, I will now. It's not good. It's not good at all. Like, if you want Jim Ross for name recognition, have him for your main title match because that is fine. Yeah, have I, him I, for I, I, have him for every Kenny Omega match. Have him for every Cody Rhodes. Every match. every big match. Totally that, fine. Every big match that needs a good storyteller. Yes, Jim Ross. absolutely yeah, fine with it because it, in the Kenny and. In the Kenny and in, in the six way match, yeah. he, he was, was fine. Yeah, he was awesome in those yeah. matches. Yeah, in, in the Mox Janela match, he was fine. Mm-hmm. In the Cody and All In match, he was fine. But the areas where Jim Ross has problems is where AEW is trying to be better than other people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like it's where they're trying to be. Like if you want someone to do that, have MJF do that. That's the reason MJF is there. To be oh, offensive. MJF. To be offensive. He's, he's really good oh. at what he does. He's really good at what I, he does. No, I, he's, he's very good at getting cheap heat. Yeah. But but yeah. He cuts, he cuts but a hell of a badass good. promo. Oh, yeah. He's, he's, he's great at that. Um, and and I, I, saw, I saw someone tweet this. I forget who it was. AEW feels like a, a schizophrenic show. Okay. Like they, okay. Like they don't, okay. like they don't know what they want to be. Well, they all. The, well, the, I think they're still figuring out what they want right. to be. Right. Like, no, I know, but yeah, like, fairness, two shows. But two but they're saying, but they're saying that it's all inclusive for everyone. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe that. Are the you thing. going to bring your eight-year-old to see Fighter Fest where MJF is talking about swallowing? <laughs> Ugh. No, you're not. Probably not. Yeah, well, yeah. I'll, I'll be it though. I, I, I was, I was a child of Attitude Era, so I mean, probably well, would still I go to show. Think <laughs> AEW yeah. is for like the eight year olds. But no, but it's not. Like, hey, 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 oh, oh, Randy look. Rhodes literally I, said that. Let's do a separation because I, I did listen to. I, I one thing I do love. I love how I love the things that I mentioned before. I like the things AEW is bringing in from like what we see at, at, at like New Japan. Like I like the the just like straight pe- press conference thing that happens. That's awesome. That's it's not, great. And it's not as awkward as when WWE tried to do it. It oh. was like weird half kayfabe kind of stuff. Um, like Tony Khan came out and talked about the show, and he was very honest about the chair shot. He was very honest about what he thought about intergender wrestling, and a lot of yeah. people disagree with that. And very that, much so. That can be a whole different discussion. Wait, what did he say about intergender uh, wrestling? He that said, said he, 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 it. he did not like what well, he had, Okay, so he had a lot of context. He said he did not like when Jocelyn. I'm sorry. Uh, not Jocelyn. Sean Spears. Sean Spears. No, 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 not that. From the from the Battle Royal uh, at the uh, All In pay per view. Oh, Grace George, and Brian George Cage. Cage? Yeah, Grace. George Grace Cage. and Cage. When she got hit in the head. Uh, or something. He didn't like that. He didn't like that. Hangman. Everybody forgets the Hangman Page won that match yeah. because of her moment. So um, he it, like he was like, we're probably not going to do that on TV. Was his thing. Um, so okay, there's that. Not there's really okay. No, but, not not really so, okay though because when you say you're an all inclusive company mm-hmm. and you have people that want to do intergender wrestling and want to see intergender wrestling, you're not being all inclusive. Right, mm. it is a it is a delicate line, I believe. Mm-hmm. Very I I, delicate. I don't think it I, should be. That's, I, I but think, then again, I'm I am super. Let, let's freaking do this. Yeah, yeah like yeah, I don't yeah, care. Yeah, yeah. Like, because <laughs> my thing is what Andrew wrestling is like when women train to be wrestlers. Yeah, there's no like all women's class. I mean, it can be. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, when, of course, like, can be. you know, in my class, there's like two or three other women there but, and you know. But either way, we have what does the guy putting the money in this actually think about this? 
Apparently, Thanks to something like this. Right, versus, right, I get that. Versus, we're all reading tea leaves to figure out what Vince is thinking. Um, and here is like, this is what I think, and, and maybe my partners will agree or not. It's literally stuff he say, you know, about things like intergender wrestling, things like the chair shot, things like, uh, you know, like that um, about the matches, the the Moxley Janela match. And they said he said very clearly, it was like this will not be a, ma- a kind of match we'll have on television. The, like that, that's just not what our it television should be. Is it should be a match if you no, it's a special one. match, it's a special, and, and special it is what it is. It's something they did for that. Um, so, so he is kind of, you know, we're saying, hey, we're developing the TV. I can't tell you yes or no, but I can tell you this is something we're not aiming to do or are aiming to do, um, you know, for a television product, which you do have to consider that, right? Of I course. Mean, I mean, there's a lot different stuff that happens on a WWE pay-per-view than what happens on, on Monday TV. and right. Tuesday. And That's why we're in the configure. And maybe, like, you don't know, maybe, like, four years down the line, that's actually, like, broadcast nationally, like, in general wrestling. I, I would hope so. Right, uh, right there now. already has not, been. In right. Lucha Underground. Lucha right, Underground. Right, right. Lucha Lucha Underground. Underground. But everyone has said that. everywhere. Lucha, Impact know. Wrestling is right. doing some Sam, interesting Impact things with Tessa and Sammy yeah. Callahan. But I think yeah. Lucha, uh, Lucha Underground was different because we all accepted, like, this was like a whole other world. Like, that temple was did not affect anything with WWE or but, AEW. But or yeah, that's yeah, that's Rey Mysterio that's is that's still in a cage in a basement somewhere in Los Angeles. Yeah, okay. People are eaten by dragons like people are being buried like lucha underground is a whole different it's time vortex i'm still worried about vinnie masaro okay i'm right. still worried it's about vinnie masaro combat meets wrestling it is yeah yeah well, it's a pocket started, dimension that's because they started with a clean slate mm-hmm. yes. AEW, aew can do that as well mm-hmm. they're just choosing not to because i don't, maybe they want to ride the wave of their hype and like all the stories they have they want to like came into AEW and then once like, the TV starts they're like okay now it's a clean slate yeah yeah and then all the BT and stuff will be, curious will be to different see. and they'll be curious they'll be curious to see speaking right. so. of Tony Khan if, if the librarian thing doesn't end with a match between Leva Bates and Peter Avalon to be the real librarian I hope so That's what a- is the, what is the point mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well I think right now they're trying to do like a subtle like a little romance yeah thing, like yeah. Peter Avalon's kind of like you know hitting on yeah. Leva and but she's having none, none of so it so he's like, making yeah. her uncomfortable in the workplace got it Yep, no, pretty much. Wait, 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 <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Well, no, it, no, might, it no, might have no, been no. that bad, but no, like, no I, like... I, I, I'm, I'm just fucking around. <laughs> I know, I know. I don't think we're gonna push that <laughs> envelope right now. <laughs> well, speaking of Tony Khan, no, I'm, just, I, I'm just fucking around. Speaking, it, speaking of Tony Khan, uh, I, heard, I heard a source that the librarian was originally his idea. Oh yeah, like it was like some he shot, and they thought everybody thought it was so dumb. It's like, what's wrong with it? Hey, let's see if we, see, let's see what happens. I think yeah. it's entertaining. I love it. I, I and I think that's that's fun. it's two people. I mean, I, I think you've had that. Like, you know, we've talked about like guys that can get stupid gimmicks over in WWE. Like, I was handed this, and I'm gonna, you know, shoot it to the moon. You know, I can't. Like an undead zombie warrior named the Undertaker. Yeah, yeah. there you yeah, go. Yeah. There you go. Um, oh, as mortician. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I think that's like, hey. I think we can do this. We have interesting characters. Can we create one like this? And plus, mm-hmm. they had you know that social media campaign. Even that's that ja- was genius. Jackson right. Argos. Yeah, yeah even Jackson Argos did Lala, it. Lala's yeah, do it too. Did Lala's do it? I, yes, I, did I think Lala's they have libraries in Canada. I, uh, uh, you know, Canada was just a few days ago. I think it was like. Canada. Canada. Yeah. Yeah, it's only it's only two days before, yeah, like a few days before July fourth, yeah. Yeah. All right. Still, jeez. You just you're just wandering a little bit. Just make I sure you talk and talk around the top of the mic. Better. Just love the love the mic. Just you like you're cutting a promo. Just like you're constantly brother. cutting a but promo. But you don't want to like do this. No, though. no, not that much as much. But <laughs> <laughs> welcome to my SMR. <laughs> ASMR. <laughs> the library is a good <laughs> and that's when I turn off the video because I don't like ASMR. It's weird as heck. I don't know. Just, oh, it's weird. It's weird to me. A- AEW ASMR. That's the next <gasps> thing. That's, can MJF do that? MJF? You, wait, yes. Wait, you want MJF to crawl into your brain in ASMR? Because he will gain oh, don't, don't you want, you know, I will don't love you want, that. Only because don't don't so you annoying. want like leave a base like in yours? No, hand? I want to have MJF. Shh, please be quiet. Be- please be quiet in the library. <laughs> <laughs> actually, that's a really good idea. I kind of want that now. I, I just want, I just <laughs> yeah, want to hear actually, we're talk hey, about it. You, like all you nerds and losers, like I want to hear MJF whisper that in everyone's ear because it just gains so much. Like, can I get that? Can I get the Johnny 
Blackcraft promo for the first Blackcraft Wrestling where he told us called us all pale geeks. Yes. <laughs> With no friends. Like that was that was the best. That was my favorite Johnny whatever his last name promo I've ever heard. So Johnny whatever. <laughs> John Johnny, what promotion is he in this week? Johnny whatever. Uh, Johnny gimmick name. Johnny, who'd I sell my name to? Like John, Johnny Johnny mm-hmm, is like <laughs> is like is like the arena in your town that you can't remember, so you just call him the first thing it was called. And, you know, so hey, it's John Morrison. It was like, well, he hasn't been John Morrison for like ten years. It's like, well, and the, the and that wasn't the first thing. He and was Mellon called. Arena Arena hasn't been the Civic Center <laughs> for twenty, so I don't care. Um, you know, <laughs> it's a it's it's a Pittsburgh way of giving directions. You base your wrestler on what you what he used to be. Um, oh but, God! And if you hit the sheet, oh, you go too far. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, anyway, which one? Point uh, library, this. Uh, Mad Mike, you. Uh, do we want to talk about the chair shot? I mean, it was a chair shot it, that that went sideways. Um, I, it it yeah. has no place in wrestling. I I saw oh, a I, meme. I, 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 heard, I don't know I what the wrestlers saw, think. I heard they. I've never done it myself personally. I, I know it took a chair shot to the head. I don't I, want I, to. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I put my hand up. I, I, yeah. I put my hand up. I see nothing wrong with a headshot. I'll offer my back. Put, put, put your yeah. hand up, you know. Mm-hmm. I'll offer my back before I give my I hand heard, up. So, like, I, no heard, I heard they might have got a softer metal and, like, gimmick the chair. I heard, yeah. heard, they, heard they might have but, done that. And I heard, like, the back part might have cut him. But still, I think he turned weird. I, yeah, I no, don't know. Did, too. The, the, I, I couldn't like, get a good replay they, of it. Because the chair was already dented. That's what they mean by gimmicked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gotcha. If you watch it again, the top part of the chair was what cut him open. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. But it doesn't matter what it was. Mm-hmm. It's got no place in wrestling in 2019. Because mm-hmm. yeah. all it takes is one chair shot to the head for you to get a concussion that you will not recover from. Mm. No, That's no, all you're it right. takes. You're no, right. no, no, like you're, you're, you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna say, like I said, I'm, I'm just gonna say, if you do it, put your hands up. You know, I mean, right. protect yourself. Yeah. Uh, there was just one meme on the internet. As soon as it happened, I haven't watched uh, Firefest yet at the time. And, like, it's a meme, and it's, like, Sean Spears saying, there are men sending their regards. And I was like, this is, like, some hip men type of level stuff right here. <laughs> like, I mean, like, that's – it was. I started laughing, but I shouldn't be laughing. But, you know. I mean, it got heat. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean they, they won't – I mean, not, not if you see Cody up for Sean, I mean, that's – Everybody's kinda, talking about it. Yeah. Hey, so, yeah, wait, is he coming? It, it succeeded. Is he, is, he, is he coming to Pittsburgh in, like, Yeah, I'd be seeing. I'd be seeing uh, oh, no. Yeah. He's about to get booed out the building. Oh, <laughs> oh, he might. Oh, oh, no. I thought it was going to be a good home. <laughs> like, he's like, oh, he's in Pittsburgh now. And it's just, nope. <laughs> yeah, sure, he might get booed. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, should we get – Police on standby, just like, hey, uh, Sean Spears coming town. I was like, who the heck is that? It's like, you don't want to. Just, just. <laughs> um, well, <laughs> just get some cops ready. <laughs> um, so the uh, we did have a un- quote unquote unsanctioned match. Um, I I kind of liked I kind of liked the oh, the presentation awesome. of it. This was awesome. I liked how they're just like they kept oh. explaining. By the way, this is the last match of the show. Oh yeah. Yes, we have this other thing happening. But the lights will go out. That signifies officially the end of the okay. show. This thing is going to happen, but it is not an official. I thing. freaking loved it. I, I I enjoyed that presentation. I enjoyed it for being a hardcore match. And there's I think there's a few things on there you you don't typically see. You definitely haven't seen it in WWE pay per view, obviously. Um, and it's not what Moxley used to do a lot of, but I think there was a lot that was fun. Mike has, uh, well, wait, before we get Mike's opinion, I, I just want to uh, go around and get your guys' thoughts on it. My opinion? Okay, we're talking about like Pete? Janela and Moxley. I, I it lo- was, you, go, uh, you go first. I, I, I loved it. Yeah. I enjoyed it. What made me cringe? To be honest? <laughs> like, okay, it, it was the foot and thumbtack spot. Mm. That, that pushed me. I was like, I'm uncomfortable now. Mm-hmm. I don't know, mm-hmm. maybe because I'm like you know I'm weak sauce or whatever. But, that, like, <laughs> like, but it was just the fact that he took his shoe off, then the then mm-hmm. the shoe, then the kick pad and sock, mm-hmm. and then say, you know what, screw you and your life, brother, and just <laughs> <laughs> so many. Years. It just it just like, I'm like, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute, was that necessary? Like, <laughs> can, can, can we see the f bomb on this? Yes. Okay, so there were so many you sick fuck chants. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, my yeah, god. Yeah, yeah. Oh. The crowd, the crowd was about. I was gonna say before you say anything, the crowd was in the whole show. The crowd yes. was in the, the crowd whole. was. Yes. They were up. Like it's everything, good. Everything. Like, I enjoy seeing Moxie like that, you know, and not like mm-hmm. an older Moxie. It was nice seeing like a up to date. He looks so happy. 
all right. Like you like, oh, I'm so happy. happy. They, they do both seem like they were having a lot of fun. Yes, they're just like this is the thing I like. Which this is the scares kind of- me. Which if you are a death match wrestling, you enjoy this. I give you all types of respect. Your pain level must be omega uh, level because like yeah. I don't have that love. Like I can well, take well, and, and and you know obviously the the envelope being pushed with these death match shows you know. Uh, that we're hearing about and, and everything and seeing on online. Like, I don't think anybody's going to do that level of thing. Sorry, Drew Braver, on television or pay-per-view <laughs> right. or free view, online, I, I, whatever, the, uh, yeah. on, the on this level. The CZW tournament def- should never be televised. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, okay. Pay-per-view stre- fine, but yeah. Pay-per-view, I pay-per-view, stream, poem, DVD, fine. But if, I'm just saying if it ever got, you know, Put it on national television. We may go back into a dark age of professional wrestling. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm talking oh, about? It's like, gonna inspire so like, like many kids. Right, like we're gonna be shunned again. Like I don't want that yeah, to yeah. happen. Like we're yeah. finally in that light where we can be like, oh, I'm a professional wrestling. It's like, oh, that's cool. Mm-hmm. You know, back then you couldn't like I'm a professional wrestling. Like, oh, so you do thumbtack spots? Like no. Thank God it wasn't. <laughs> thank God it wasn't Legos. Mm-hmm. Legos. Oh. Spots, thank God. They I don't should know. do Lego spot. I would take a Lego spot. Really? <laughs> no. I, a lot do. of guys, a lot of guys that do tax are like, uh, well, I'd they, rather do tax than a Lego. I rather do a Lego spot. Oh, no, I don't know about that. <laughs> I can, I can, I can mentally prepare for a Lego spot. I don't know about, about tax. Uh, Mike, what were you saying? They did the joystick button spot on this. Yeah. That was so good. He did the he played the actual game controller. Yeah. That was oh. so good. Well no, he, he took out a bag full of joystick buttons. All oh, the joystick buttons too. All oh, the joystick buttons too, yeah, yeah. sorry. Like that that was the, the PG version of Thumbtack. Yeah. <laughs> which was, which was like I was like See, that's just not necessary. We don't need that, but okay. I love that. That's that, that was funny. I love it because it, it fit in the CEO gimmick. Like the yeah, little, it, yeah, the it little, was great. I love the bits of synergy they did have with the, the gaming tournament, the, the Street Fighter uh, costumes. Oh, like, that was. No. He, I just I popped so hard for the Raging Demon. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah, yeah, that was it's like great. this guy's gonna die. If this guy's I, gonna die. If I was if, if I was home at the time, I saw that video. I would show my dad because he loves Street Fighter. Mm-hmm. And, and the. He, po- Pop for the theme too. They played the old Street Fighter theme, mm-hmm. cover. and they lost. Like she, she, and was like, "Oh my god!" I'm like, "Oh, here we go!" <laughs> 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 I, I just love- wish that <laughs> Penna Phoenix and uh, Laredo Kid came out as Mortal Kombat. Yes, mm, or, they, or the very they least, kind of, they kind of naturally do, don't they? I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah. In yeah. all oh. fairness, uh, uh, Penta, whatever. Penta, uh, Penta. I, I know it changes a lot. I, I see if, if Pentagon gets Pentagon. big enough on a, on a big enough level, I, I I see him as as a future selectable character in oh, yes. a. You know what? Actually, TNT is a Warner Media station. Yes. Yeah. So with Mortal Kombat, another so one. So Mortal Kombat's a Warner Brothers. He game. just looks like a, he looks like a Mortal Kombat oh character. He looks uh, like I, one. Can you imagine what? if he wa- had an intro? In more combat, like he just goes up with Scorpion and just be like Sarah, me, and like, I will lose oh, it. Like that's man. that's how you lose like the the wrestling oh, world. Make this happen. Mode. Make this happen. DLC man. will go out the. And road. his They'll fatality is he does the arm, except he actually <gasps> just, just breaks rips it off. He snaps. It. No, he, he, he just, just rips it. He off. doesn't just rip it off. And then he and then he takes the arm and makes the Sarah Miero with the with the fingers on the broken just arm. Just with the broken arm. Oh. oh. Got gold oh. here. We got gold Ed here. Boon, are you listening to this? <laughs> Is he still involved? He has to be still involved. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't I'd, know. I'd like, have to say so. Yeah. I don't know. With all the license changes and midway going away, I wasn't sure. Um anyways, uh, that's awesome. Uh uh Mike, you you had some reservations about that main event. Or- uh yeah, well first before about the pre-show. I hated all the Firefest references. I loved it. I, until, I, 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 I didn't get it, it at first. Stupid. I thought it was stupid. Well, here's the thing. I didn't watch the Firefest documentary. So Neither like, have I. But I, I got all the jokes because everyone like crapped on it. Yeah. Um, and just like, I get it. Like, I don't need to watch the documentary, obviously. If everyone's mm-hmm. like, oh, we have no food. Like, yeah, the idea. You know, what, you know the memes, right? It's yeah, so funny. Like, 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 I'm a kid. I don't need to watch the documentary. I, I, I thought it was, I thought it was fun. It, it was like, them having fun with it. Make one joke with it. That's what, it. Or is that shit for being the elite? It, at least it was only in the pre-show. It was mm-hmm. only the pre-show. The yeah, rest of the show was no more reference. Yeah. And again, right, I true. watched it backwards because I, I did watch the event, and then I went back and watched the pre-show. So, and then I went back and watched a couple episodes of being the lead. Wait, into well, it. Well, so, you can watch it whatever you want, though. Uh, like, yeah, that's it. What band? It's a beautiful thing. Watch what wrestling band? however you want, right? Blink one hundred eighty-two. And I was saying like, <laughs> who? <laughs> Who just made that rap? <laughs> Who makes that type of joke? <laughs> One hundred. Well, it was, so, it was also confusing because at the end of the show, they were attacking him and throwing him into like like the band set and everything. Right. I'm like, oh, did they have a band earlier and I missed it? Oh, you know, <laughs> you know I'm pretty sure. Sh- 
I know Kazarian can play bass. I feel like they could have had an awesome uh, Project concert. You know I'm what? I'm pretty sure Kazarian play, Kazarian's awesome on bass. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he can play bass. You know what would be funny, though? If they had, like, Blink-182, the back of Nickel. Um, <laughs> the back the back of Nickel. <laughs> the back of Nickel. Um, That stain. Like, just... Like, like, and, and Creed. Oh. Just, 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 no, <laughs> just, just Creed. Creed. You can't even make just, a joke. Just, just Creed. Oh, yeah, you, you, just you booked Creed. that Creed. You're like, what? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Creed. Yeah. That, that Creed. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Creed. When you are away, <laughs> I'm, I'm free. free. <laughs> and we just got pulled from YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and, then you should, and then you show the coffin bump. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, no, please, no. Fry. <laughs> that has to be on the. By the way, by the way, fun use of a body bag. Yeah, I'm gonna put that out oh there. Oh my god, I've never seen um, a- Andy Darby. Was his name? Uh, Darby, Darby Allen. Allen. Darby, Darby Allen. Allen. Don't just like way, my man. Like, by the way, he's never, only three. I years never want to see that. I know. He's 22. He's, he's 22. 22. Holy hell, man! But, okay, wow. Well, I know who Darby Allen looks like. Yeah, I love skateboarding. Never seen him. Never seen him. And when I was story first time, story, he I did wrestling, I think he's done a lot of UK stuff. UK he, stuff, okay, okay. He's, he freaks me out only because he I can think. do some bumps that I would never take. Yeah, we'll see how long he does that. Um, yeah. Uh, he's going Darby, to... Darby Allen's the current Northeast Wrestling Champion. Yes. Oh, NEW is going to be here in two weeks. Ooh. Yeah, um, I saw him wrestle Phoenix. Oh. That's probably an amazing that was, match. That was. All right, do you want to hear that show, the two main events? Darby sure. Allen versus Phoenix. Mm-hmm. And Pentagon versus Kenny Omega. Wow. Yeah, it was well worth my money. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds well like worth my money. That was a good show. That sounds like an awesome show, man. Yeah, that's great. But, um, so, so my my problem with the main event. Mm-hmm. Um, I first of all, I thought that the chair shot. Uh, lessened everything that happened in the main event. Yes. Mm. Yeah. It definitely made more. But headlines I don't think that. it was. Su- uh. I don't think it was supposed to. Yeah, but you're right. I don't think it was supposed to, but the amount of times they showed replays on it. We're talking more about that than we are that main event. Well, that, here's the thing. Yeah. I love the Darby Allen Corey Rules match. I mm. show that that like Darby will sell for anything. Oh, no. He got the match was long. Good. Like, yeah. It's scary. And like, I don't know, man. The body bag. The body bag. Um, like, I've seen him do before. You watch a match against him and um, Ethan Page. Ego, all ego, Ethan Page. That's what uh, uh, Tina's in the chat room said. You should see his Evolve stuff with Ethan Page. Yes. Also, oh, that's right. He's big also, on Evolve, too. Oh, yeah. Also, Darby really Allen. Evolved. Darby Allen, product of Seattle. Yes. For so hometown Seattle, for Tina. Right? Yep. But, um, I, I did not know that. that. I don't like that they use the, uh, the time limit draw. Oh, I loved it. I, I thought it. that was perfect. I, I, lo- I, I love the kids. I thought that oh, sorry. the time limit draw for me... Mm-hmm. Needs to be the underdog almost winning with time expiring. I get Not that. Favorite. I get that because then it's just another. All the elite guys won their matches. I yeah. I, I get that, but also I kind of like <sighs> good setup I, I will, for a rematch. Good, yes, good yeah. setup for a rematch. That's either the point. way. Remember, this was a free show for most of us. Yeah, but they're, but they're not going to do a rematch. No. Clearly, he's. Uh, he clearly he's going to be feuding with Sean Spears. But you can do it yeah. down the line, though. Yeah, we can do it down Darby, the line. Uh, is he we'll even it. signed to AEW? Do we know? Uh, Darby? Yeah. He's Darby, fine. yeah, yeah, he's yeah. Fine. He's fine. Pretty okay. sure he's one that they announced one of them. Either right? way, no, they wouldn't do this if they didn't want to leave the door open, right? Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. It leaves the room for a future, a future thing you can do if they yeah. got a match again, yeah. yeah. Plus, they may want to watch Darby uh, but even more. Here's, here's the way I see it. Yeah. Um, even Darby's promo is simple. He mm-hmm. want he didn't want to give uh, he didn't want he wanted to be Kobe's Curry, first loss, but he might have been a loss, but it was a draw, so he still won. Zero either way, one. either way, Cody, Cody is not two and zero. Oh. He's not two and zero. Oh. Oh. He is he is yeah, but he is the, one and the one. Match was one more second. Here's the thing though: if we have a promotion, one zero like, and he'd be two and he'd be two and zero. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you have a promotion that's all about like kind of like fight fight with the rankings and wins and loss matters, mm-hmm. I think it's more important for the rest of the draw, like in soccer. Than to lose. I think it's good to tease the draw too, because you can right. get it more down the line. Like mm-hmm. this can be a thing that happens. Because you, you can you can bounce back from a draw. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's kind of mm-hmm. hard to bounce back from a loss. But I will say this though: if the, the finish was done, because I've seen that that finish messed up so many times. Because mm-hmm. even because it was even Okada, uh, Okada and Tanahashi, they did it once. They did it perfect. They tried to do it a second time in the G one. Didn't quite get mm-hmm. that. No, it didn't. <laughs> no. Mm-hmm. So, but the, the fact it's that it was hard... one, two. Time. And I've seen it. I have seen it messed up a million times on the Indies. They did it. Well, I mean, really the, the good. way you yeah. do it properly is you don't actually time it out. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> you just ring yeah. the bell when that when the arm's coming down for three. That's fair enough. Well, but they yeah, but they were yeah. actually <laughs> counting it down with them. No, they were like, counting yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. What you, you got the crowd into it though? The crowd got really into like, it. Do you guys forget what happened in Pittsburgh when Extreme Rules came? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like when they yeah. took our time I was there for that. When we took our timer away, oh. people in the crowd brought out their phone. I was, and remember the timestamp it continued. So, you know, every 10 seconds. I was you know. so disappointed in Pittsburgh that night. Dude, yeah, yeah. I don't care what anyone says that night. I love beat. That was my first ever WWE pay per view. I've been to live mm-hmm. and I enjoyed it. Hey, that's. That's awesome. I enjoyed the fact. It was that an experience. It was an. Ex- I don't. Like I don't like the 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 what you know what it's remembered for, but it was yeah, an experience. It's gonna be remembered for that right. because like, you're just like, oh my god, what is happening? Like, this is a oh, this is a mob mentality uh, around counting. Right. <laughs> oh my. Like like well, coach. Like the disrespectful Pittsburgh crowds. Like oh, I'm like oh come on man. Like uh, it's like like UK fans don't sing along when matches are happening. Well, <laughs> UK is. fans say if you don't like so and so, take your, your shoe, shoe off. off. They, 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 and everybody's holding up their shoe in it's the first so amazing. five rows. The shoes. Oh, the first time uh, I saw that, I was so confused. This is this is on an episode of NXT UK. Take that that shoes off. Off. They do this on progress. Yeah. And they, like they just do this, man. Yeah, and then like you know, like who I'm thinking of, like Ty, they sing Tyler Bates and like Ty, like the Tyler Bates Tyler song. Bates. Yeah. Tyler, Tyler, Tyler Bates. Bates. Like they do that as they're about to like, lock up. Like oh, but we well, want to count I love down. Singing. But, but, but we, we want to count down. Stuff. Where's that's the counter? Stuff. We do we do sing, we do songs too. Like yeah, we, we do na 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 hey hey. Goodbye. But that's like yeah. But yeah, but, you know. It's just very hey, promos and stuff. Right. Some Bailey. Yeah. Right, right, right. No, that, but that, that, started started that, that, that got birth from UK, right. though, I that's thought. That's right. That's right. That started in... Uh, my, favorite was, yeah. my favorite was, oh, Bailey, you. <laughs> yeah, what I need. But, like, no, like, that's I, my favorite one. I enjoyed that Pittsburgh preview because it was just a bunch of fans yeah. having yeah. fun. And you know what? If, and that's all that matters. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But the only person I know who didn't like the show were people who watched it at home. Mm-hmm. And you know what? No one remembers that show at all. Do you remember the management of that show at all? Well, yes, because we were counting. <laughs> well, yeah, if you remember. And specifically remember. I remember. You can I see on the counting. screen. You can go back and see um, a conversation between Seth and Dolph as they're, as they're in, like, a headlock on the ground. Well, saying, on. Are they effing counting? <laughs> yeah, bro. We, we're, we're counting. What is going oh, on? Oh. Dolph was really rattled. That part. He, yeah, he, he looked was. really rattled. He's like, well, notice he disappeared for six months. Oh, right? Sorry, that's, that's Dolph, but... I think I, mean, I think it's pure fire now, but you Dolph, know. see Pittsburgh. No. That's what you did. Really, you, you, hold, you made hold, Dolph go for six months. He is working. Sorg, his, Sorg let, let's back this up. Do you think Dolph is pure fire now? He, mm. On his delivery of what they're giving him, yes. Ooh. I do not Ooh, care for no. it. Ooh. I don't. I mean, I, I really I, know, but I strongly disagree. I think he's really whiny, and it's just it's rough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I, you know I, what? Think I, you, I think he needs to go to NXT. I think it was fine. That'd be awesome. That'd be I awesome. think it was fine leading into the first match, but he's still doing it this week after losing twice to Kofi. Then I'm kind sword, of I'm kind of sword. over that. This week on SmackDown, Kevin Owens had to just scream at him to tell him to shut up. It's not going to be you. It hasn't been you in eight years. Mm-hmm. He literally said that to Dolph Ziggler's face, <laughs> See, I, and it was amazing. And I, I really enjoy Dolph's work. I think he's fantastic. Yeah. yeah, I don't. But here's the thing: I don't. I try to keep up with them, like WWE SmackDown, all that, mm-hmm. but I can't really do all that well, because, yeah, like, yeah. like I just don't well, find it entertaining. None of us can. No, I don't none find of us it can. entertaining. They well, I, my... I want to get to those in a little bit, but first yeah, I want to uh, give a uh, shout uh, out. Uh, we got a lot going on here. I want to catch up with you guys on what's going on, uh, and of course, you guys can catch up on a lot of what Keith and uh, Zeke are doing over at IndieWrestling.us, IndieWrestling.network. <laughs> We got two Our big shows network. just went on, up on, online uh, this week. Uh, we have uh, Uprise, which featured Zeke Mercer. Yep. As uh, a part of that, as well as Prospect Pro Wrestling, a lot of fun stuff from there. Um, I think highlights other than Zeke's match was MV Young Brohemoth, which there's actually a match that you can see online. Oh, a really good on. match. I can see that being really, really, that's uh, really good six that's man really tag good. between the uh, Stronghold Academy uh, teachers and students against the Violence Academy teacher and students. That was, that uh, was great match, so great main event with Christian Noir uh, with uh, uh, Chase Winters. Uh, a lot of really good stuff over there. And, of course, Prospect Pro Wrestling, uh, run by one a long time, one of our earliest interviewers or interviewees on this show, uh, Marshall Gambino, running that up in Worthington, PA. They had an incredible – there were no less than uh, three candidates for n- match of the night in a 10-match card. It was ridiculous. <laughs> oh, it was ridiculous. 
ridiculous. Uh, John Roden, Dennis Gregory. If you ever were, if you ever, if you ever questioned uh, what John Roden can do or what uh, Dennis Gregory, a veteran of got to be twenty years here in Pittsburgh, can still do, watch that match. Bulk Nasty and uh, and uh, Super Hentai, another longtime veteran. Great stuff there. Uh, KDR Kent, Johnny Patch, uh, match you can see. Um, uh, never have I seen somebody do a flip off of a top rope just to deliver a super kick. It's, uh, mi- it's that misdirection. You don't know what it's coming from. I ran into know? an intermission. He's like, "Who is more super indie than who is who is more indie than me to do that move?" And I'm like, "Nope, no, that's 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 your staple." Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so <Damn. laughs> that's why he's the American Daredevil. If you're looking for the best indie wrestling good in the dude. Pittsburgh area, look no further uh, than IndieWrestling.us and Indie Wrestling dot network whether it's rwa rise with a y angel gate 2pw fight society revenge pro up in erie or more as well as black diamond in west virginia don't forget we, uh, we have the best <laughs> video quality and hd footage right where'd my thing go where, where'd my thing go it moved up. It, it scrawled without me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right, right at your fingertips on VOD, digital download options. You can also view uh, uh, all of that over on the uh, Vimeo and VHX uh, apps over on Roku, Chromecast, favorite, uh, your favorite TV streaming options. A lot of them there. Just go check for details over at IndieWrestling.us and IndieWrestling.org. Rent, own, subscribe. A bunch of different ways for you to catch your pro wrestling. Um, and I think, you know, one of the few that you can do on the TV devices uh, out of the area here. So please go check it out. IndieWrestling.us, IndieWrestling.network. Um, you can watch uh, uh, shows for as low as $1.99. And you can subscribe for five ninety nine, or check out the free trial there at the network. A lot of stuff, a lot of options going on. And uh, iPay-Per-Views, too. We'll be announcing an iPay-Per-View, I think, uh, in a few weeks here. Uh, of course, we've been doing some stuff with AngelGate and uh, some other streaming things are in the works with some of our friends out there who have internet in their facilities. <laughs> uh, that's uh, it's hard to come by in the indies, guys. <laughs> so yeah, uh, yeah. appreciate that's, the Wi-Fi. That's why. That's why the, la- the share, last share the Wi-Fi. That's why this <laughs> past weekend we spent a lot of time editing to get those out. So two shows edited out the door so you guys can see them as soon as possible here uh indie wrestling.us go check it out thank you everybody but that has been supporting the site and the video and the promotions that we've been involved with so speaking of a lot of things going on in, in your worlds keith zeke of course Jeez. uh i guess i guess more immediately this weekend you guys have black diamond wrestling i believe both of you are on that am i not am i if i'm, I'm not mistaken i'm not going to be at that you know that, that one no, well, there's no. two of them there's the one in mountainville and the one in bed with the next night that's right. Right, right. That's right. There you be. There's, a, there's a lot of black time in this month. Yes, there, there, there this is. This is yeah. the month of black time. It really is because there's the, the festival next week in uh, like Meccan. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I got to do that one. Yeah, I'm there for that one, which is still <laughs> be my first my Meccan tournament. Not tournament. Uh, what's called uh, festival. Oh, the River Fest. Yeah, that's yeah, really that'd be time. my first time. There. Of course, they, we, they'll we, fire a cannon across the river. We're trying to we're trying to like shoot a cannon at Ohio. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> really? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let's roll that back. Wait, <laughs> what? And then you have a that's wrestling my joke. show. <laughs> West Virginia. <laughs> it's the best thing ever. That's how wrestling goes down in West Virginia, man. Um, and, of course, the, bla- the the shows at the, the first Sunday shows at over at Benwood, West Virginia, at the Diamond Plex, are the ones that we do uh, produce mm, for yeah. the show. Um, but a lot of fun things happening here uh, all around for you guys. Um, a, a great promotion that we've been working with for well over a year now. Because I think the first one we officially did was the anniversary show last year. Yes, I believe so, And that so, was in yeah. June. And yeah. And we, we just put up the 16th anniversary a few weeks ago. So uh, something that's been around for a while, and I'm glad to s- that more people get to, to get eyes on something like that. And you've been a part of it forever. <sighs> that's, that's, that's forever. Started, yeah. I don't know. I was like looking through some archives. It's, it's, about, find, it's about eight years now. I was finding some, some, some matches and other promotions from like 2012 you, with you. You were making make, make you feel old. Yeah, I haven't reached my year anniversary in Black Diamond yet. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> but I was at the anniversary show, which was awesome. I, that was my first. It's gonna be ten show. years for me in February. Wow. It's gonna be it's gonna be a year for me in Black Diamond on December second. Jesus! And that was my debut. I feel old. I'm not old. I'm 28, but I feel old. <laughs> You're wrestling old, which also probably makes you feel older in general. Um, yes. Physically. Well, yes. Uh, <laughs> like when May finished, I finished my year freshman year of college and wrestling because that's my one year anniversary of when I started wrestling, which is wild to me. We're all doing math in our heads right now. Yeah. So, I feel like, how young? Oh, I, I'm, I'm <laughs> avoiding that math. 
I am avoiding that. <laughs> just, like, we're, we're not Scott starring this tonight. <laughs> no, 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 I no. make everyone Matt feel. Is our subject. I make everyone feel old. They look at me and say, "I hate you." I'm like, "Well, yeah." <laughs> uh, Zeke, about? Zeke, of course, we had a little bit of an interview with you earlier this year. Uh, but yeah, you know, you're part of the Fight Society. Of course, we're doing a lot of uh, interesting right. things with Fight Society these days, uh, including uh, a big thing is the move to Friday, which is something that doesn't happen a lot in this neighborhood. No. Right, which is going to be interesting, you know. Friday can be a Friday great, night. Fights. It can be a great night. It can be a great night because not everybody else runs on Friday. Yeah, everyone, mm-hmm. everyone's on Saturday. I, I think Sunday. I think everyone should come out as an old um, gimmick from TGIF from on ABC. Oh, oh no. man, I don't think that fits the theme for a fight society. But um, really? like, I, excuse me, I, there were brawls on Full House. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there was the wrestling episode, wasn't there, with the bushwhacker? Uncle Jesse's the worker. <laughs> oh, oh my god! And um, excuse me, Boy Meets World. Oh, oh yeah, Frankie, no, okay. Now Frankie episode, the Bully's I, father I was Vader. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I remember uh, the episode. Yeah, see, I'm uh, not yeah. that. I'm not that young. Bret Hart was on Malcolm Middle, right? Yes, he was. Yeah, that's right. And mm-hmm. The Simpsons. Triple H was um, on uh, Boy Meets World. Who was saying? And, somebody, and Triple H was also on the Drew Carey show. Somebody, yes, he was. Wasn't, on, wasn't on Fridays, but still, you know, significant. Huh. King Kong Bundy we, on We Mar- get the fight side gets to go to Friday nights before SmackDown. Mm. Yeah. That's right. So we get that first dip. But it's not one. the first time they've been on Friday. No, no, no. But, you know. They've been on Fridays, <laughs> Thursdays, Fridays, Tuesdays. Which makes no sense. I, I don't watch wrestling on Tuesday. I was like Tuesday. Oh, Smackdown. I love Tuesday for sure. Tuesday awesome. night SmackDown does not have I, I love. I personally love Tuesday. Wrestling on a Tuesday. I love wrestling on Tuesday. Here's why. It's because <laughs> that way don't, we don't have to worry about, worry about trying to catch up on it the rest of the week. It's just. Mm-hmm. I'm then done. You, then you get an NXT that's on it. Wednesday. Maybe, NXT on Wednesday. That's it. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I'm just young and just like. When I was a kid, it was Friday Smackdown, you know. You got Dry and Pool in the background playing. <laughs> 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 like, you know, you got Dry and Pool, Merlin Manson, the beautiful people. Like, that Friday. The beautiful people. The beautiful the people. Uh, that was dude, my dude. childhood. That's a lot of singing on this episode. Right. But Friday, uh, that's, uh, that's sorry. That's a bad habit. But Friday nights are good for wrestling, in my opinion. Okay. We watch it. Like, you call off work, you know, you just want to go to wrestle. Is it, is it's it, perfect it, for me. I mean, I, I want to do it. It's kind of a different era as TGIF watching, right? Yeah, thank God it's yeah, Friday. Yeah, right. yeah, that, yeah. That's like, oh, the week is done. I'm gonna go home and watch some wrestling. No, I just, no, I just no, wanted, now you like, can come to like of... come and watch some wrestling, dude. Like we were, we will gladly entertain you and have some crazy. I wish it was you. always TGIF. <laughs> I just want to think of my favorite SmackDown theme song from now. Um, <laughs> Rise Break up, it like up break it down. I love that. That's yeah, dry and sweat my blood too. I can't remember that one. What are you talking about? I can't remember. It's like yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I can't. Re- I can never I can't remember, remember I can't remember that song, but no, that's really good though. I, I can never remember what she starts it with. But actually, I have that song. Oh, do you? Yes, nice. I know exactly <laughs> what you're talking about. Um, our, our playlist here in the studio has been like uh, reminiscent of that early 2000s. Like, makes me want to watch er, uh, those WrestleManias again. The, like, there's a lot like of drowning. Just, just all the new metal. Yeah, yeah. yeah all like, drowning, I love drowning new metal. Drowning Cold, Biscuit, Saliva, Ladies and Gentlemen. Uh, the WWE's ladies and gentlemen, favorite me. band. Yes. Also, no. That's my music selection. Also, you know that's how mine. many wrestlers I've, I've heard come out the ladies and gentlemen in the last year. Ladies Especially and gentlemen, gentlemen. Good evening. <laughs> my my favorite saliva though is WrestleMania 18. They the kick of the show, mm-hmm. the main show proper. It's just like WrestleMania. Get your ass above your shoulders, baby. <laughs> <laughs> like, how do you do that? <laughs> What are you doing? How do you get your ass above your shoulders while you're sitting? That sounds like I a think wrestling ju- move. I think you just handstand, right? Yeah, I, think I, I, I guess. Does I, he want the crowd to just I, handstand? I think he's referring to the muscle buster. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably. There we go. Maybe, maybe it was an early uh, note for the muscle man dance. Oh, oh. Do the muscle man dance. <laughs> do the muscle man dance. I found an amazing tweet of that i can't remember who di- posted it somebody posted that with the jojo part four theme to that oh, it's God. fucking fantastic i i want someone to take that and the music over it do stand back that old song stand movie. back <laughs> yeah <laughs> but you know what though i love when when i was younger and had like actual rock music and all that because that's how i found like most of my bands like Ooh. papa Roach. yeah, yeah that's that's, by the way the man. best the best raw theme by the way was you know underground yeah right, you, 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 you yeah. move it to the music yeah, yeah. play that Dude, now and like I, it on. uh producer missy i think your mic's live uh ha- have i not been like kind of singing to some of those as they move pop on to the old papa roach is popping yeah. up yeah you know, like like that's been happening a little bit i'm on domination What's, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. There you go. Who else was there? 
There was. You gotta Ooh. roll the Nickelback. dice. Was, 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 Never look back. Yeah, Nickelback. That's fine. Was uh, was was Drowning Pool do also do the? the I won't be body. denied. That was the uh, ECW. No, that was SmackDown too. Body. Was, was it really? Yeah. They we use that theme. Kinda no, you're thinking of because they always use bodies for ECW. Mm-hmm. They always use yeah, bodies yeah. a lot. No, that was don't bodies question my heart. Used to be my alarm. Don't question my heart with ECW. <laughs> that. Was, that was later. I, I think they started with yeah. bodies. They started bodies. Really? They, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they were that a lot from ever since the invasion angle in 2002. They always used bodies for some reason. Because bodies was like. The song. Back well, no, then. you yeah, know why? Bodies is easy to do a video package to. Yeah, <laughs> some, some, Summer Slam 2002. Oh, yeah. that was yeah. a that was a fun. Oh, did you? Fun the time. end is you near. Is... The end is near. How many times did they use the end is near over <laughs> so, the years? A too? few, quite a lot. A few. I mean, that really. Okay, so so I was I was tuning in to the network a couple of days ago while I was doing some work. And right. I, I was going to pull up like I don't know an NXT or something okay. or two hundred five catch up on, but I just like left it on the feed because I'm like it was like Extreme Rules two thousand nine. Okay, which was also led to. Holy shit, we've been doing the same pay-per-views for a long time. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. I wonder why Sorry, I think... there's been over 30 WrestleManias. Well, yes. <laughs> and I'm only 19. Well, well not anymore. I mean, because it just doesn't want them numbered anymore. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're there's numbered, that. but... Uh, well, actually, there's been over 35. Um, so... Technically, yeah. So... There's been over 30 star WrestleManias. Oh, no. <laughs> um... Oh boy! But but Here just we go. you know, see seeing like like okay, we've been in extreme extreme worlds for ten years. No wonder things feel so stale. You know, money in the bank we've done for how many years? You know, how do we mix this but, up? But, but essentially, the money in the bank's like essentially it's kind of like a big five now. That's right. essentially their fifth big one. <laughs> Tina Key says best ECW theme was Thunder Kiss '65. <laughs> I just can't wait for someone. Someone should uh. Use corn music again, like you know, the band corn. Yeah, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. Corn oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, yeah. I don't know. I, don't, who I have corn no idea is. who that is. No. Do you mean tell the, me, you mean the yellow? Tell me the, more about this corn. This corn, man. New metal. I have, back I have a good corn story from seeing them Actually, live. Go ahead. I have never been to a concert, so I'd love to hear stuff like this. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, oh man, I'm Jonathan Davis. By the way, I'm dragging you next time uh, ICP re- comes to town. Really, really all it is. Oh, <laughs> really, all it is is Jonathan Davis brings the bagpipes for the. I can't remember what song it is, but oh. he brings out the bagpipes. And oh, I, I need to tell us. Need to tell the bit. I've had a long tour. The one where he sings "Ring Around the Rosie." I, I don't know, but it, it was it was it was zombie and zombie and corn. Oh, and geez. also in this moment, in this moment was there too. They were really good. I was really impressed in this moment. Oh. But uh, oh, my, I love Rob Zombie. But um, in this moment, I saw at the gathering. They're really good. She's awesome. I want to see that. I want to see that. Then. So yeah, that was yeah. That was, they, they kicked it off. Then it was Rob. Then Rob and Corbin would co head. You know, co head like they would. What is this forth. podcast about anymore? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, they brought the bagpipes, and you just see. You can tell it's a long tour for them. You just see what? the guitarist player face goes, "Oh, there's fucking bagpipes again." <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. No. I hate this song. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go again. This, but John and Davis was often like, he was in fillers, but the best of the best seemed like they were jet lagged or mm-hmm, something. Mm-hmm. They were like, oh, this fucking bagpipes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. I just, I just, didn't he do like a creepy character, like a demon that had like frequently, like, uh, well, trailer for Freak Unleashed would be like. Rum, 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 rum. Yeah, just have that. Yeah, he, he turned into the fiend of the very wise. Yeah, like Finn changing to the demon. <laughs> you know what? That'd be kind of cool. I don't think we're ever going to get back to the AEW conversation about the main event. Sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, well, all right. So well, we, 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 we kind of moved on. We, we kind of moved on from that. point about well, that? I was, was, well, I was. I was, I was trying to give you guys a point to talk about what you're doing, and we just started talking about this, porn. What so. I'm doing is <laughs> listening to older music. This again. is the most schizophrenic episode of you know, Wrestling I Mayhem. I would love if Zeke being... <laughs> I would AEW love, Mayhem show. I would love like for, for uh, Zeke being... Um, um, Zeke being the, the youngest wrestler out there right now, just to come out to all the stuff everybody came to in Dude, like 2001. You think, you think I'm awesome. playing right now? Dude, that's go to my Spotify. If I play, Dude, if, I... if you come out to Saliva and don't, don't play I Spotify. You, <laughs> let me go to my Spotify. Let me show that'd you something. be the copyright strike. <laughs> like, just just no, no, come no, out to. Um, I'm going I'm going like. Just slow chemical. Like, do you remember the band Deftones? <laughs> I have, like, or POD or Drying Pool or what's it called? That time period. That was the time period of those bands, man. Bear Toot or. Come on. It's my way. Um, my way or the skillet. Skill- yeah, skillet. AFI. Um, a lot of Kendrick Lamar here. Um, I got a lot of stuff. Lot Kid of stuff. Rock, Jesus. Rise Again. Yeah, of 12 Stones. Project yeah. A6. Puddle Uncle Mug. Cracker. I, Uncle what? Cr- Actually, I saw <laughs> that. Uncle Cracker. I was, in, I was an invert. Uh, I X mean, Factor. 
<laughs> you did him with the X Factor. You did him with the X Factor. I got everything I ever wanted, and I'll never give that back. Why I know you hit the X Factor. So wait, could, could I come out to disturb music? Cause that'd be great. So can I play? Can I come out to Down to the Sickness? You know, I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't. Cause I feel like everyone has used that song. It's only, like every, every only if yeah, you absolutely. leave the end the part where he's telling oh. his mother the fuck off. Um, I love that. Wait, I, wait. <laughs> Down to the Sickness wait, was my song. Theme I love song that part in E fitting. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love that. I wish I could see the chatter right about now. <laughs> I want. Uh, if anything, I'll come out to Stupefy. I can't. Oh, oh yeah, stupid I uh, love stupid. All right, guys. I got to move it along. Slice on Broadway. Our <laughs> friends supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. No, this is a show notes. That's the graphic really there. There it is. Uh, right here in Beachview, Carnegie, East End, and PNC Park. And, of course, if you guys are uh, uh, obviously not in Pittsburgh. There's a lot of you guys in the chat room all over the country. Uh, if you want to slice on your Broadway, help the global expansion of our friends down the road here. Uh, if you find a Broadway in your town, take a picture of that sign and, and tweet them pgh underscore slice on the twitter and tell them you want to slice on your Ooh, broadway wait, help so them out help them out uh help them scout locations here because i can't think they're done with only four locations help the franchise franchise uh franchise. our friends at slice on broadway franchise. go check them out slice on broadway.com tweet them instagram them facebook and tell them you heard about it on the mayhem show even if you're in a different State, country, whatever. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait. Can, slice on Broadway. Can you come to Cancer Pizza? Because I just had a slice of your pizza. That was actually pretty it's good. It's really good. Yeah. yeah I, I quite enjoyed to, it. Thank you for that. Please come to my hometown of Cancer PA. Cancer. There you go. Cancer PA. Cancer. Yeah. Sit right next to Sarah's Candies. And just oh, you live in Cancer? Yeah. Oh, that's where uh, uh, Jake Garrett lives. Yeah, I know. Everyone tells him that. I had only met him like four months ago. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, yeah. And now that's crazy. I, and then he found out he's his neighbor. And uh, see, if that was the case, I've been mad myself. <laughs> he found out he's he's next. He's he's, that's he's not a like neighbor a to an ex murderer. Ex murderer, yeah. Jigger. That's right. See, that's not like a sitcom. Actually, my next door <laughs> my neighbor. next door neighbor's an ex murderer. Yeah, my next. No, no, not Zeke that. And the, Zeke my and the next Axeman. door. Zeke and the ex man. I think my, we just came up with a team name. No, 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 no. Hashtag. No. Wait, hold what? on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I gotta <laughs> change this hashtag. Oh, wait, no, not that. Wait, where are you at? There it is. Anyway, by the way, Zeke Squad, hashtag Zeke Squad. If you're Cisco, enjoying please do not Zeke send me on the show. No, don't send Zeke me. Squad. I already hashtagged on Twitter. It's yep, happened. Yep. It's, it's, oh, in mo- no. it's in motion. Oh, Cisco, please don't kill me. <laughs> I, just call what do you Zeke think the show, no- the show title's going to be, guys? Hashtag Zeke Squad. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Zeke Squad. Please just put his face. That's <laughs> on the TV. Jordan Styles, do what you do best. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll be back after this message. Whoop, whoop, with Wait. the big question. Zeke, who do you think does our show graphics? I know. <laughs> sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. Mortal Kombat! I mean, I said, man, listen, look, so, so I want you to go back. Go, so we a friend of the show a long time ago, uh, Sykes, um, go go check out a podcast called Start to Beat with Sykes. He's too young for um, that movie. I was there for the uh, Mortal Kombat movie. He talked I about movie. he talked about how Mortal Kombat influenced him to get into music. Oh. Who? Hmm. Sykes. Oh. Uh, he also uh, what's his uh, what's his band? Uh, not Grey Wolf. Um, it's gonna hold on. I'll have it in a second. Um, no, I mean like I'm talking like a, like like a modern, you know. That, right, right, that, right. That, that, like, of course, really. you know, everyone, everyone, everyone gets like the Mohawk. Everyone, everyone knows that one. That's yeah, yeah, like, yeah. But they kind of just kind of do game to game. They're kind of game to game. Right. Yeah. Which is like, you know, if they had, it'd be like, it'd be like some metal song now. They can't even be like upbeat and poppy. Yeah, it's not like Street Fighter was the da Right, everyone can get like, you know, I watched a Street Fighter movie too, and that was cringe. It was even more cringe. I love that movie. And I, 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 I can get a big conversation why I love it. And I grew up appreciate Julia's it. Julia is amazing. So sorry. Who was it? Raul Julia. Raul Julia steals the fucking movie. He's so Sorg, I for me I ha- it I was Tuesday. It you was want Tuesday. I have my own show now called you. Zeke Squad. Zeke just, Squad. Just for you it was nerds. the most important day of your life. <laughs> uh, by the way, that band, uh, uh, Sykes Band well, is. Me, uh, it was just Tuesday. Sykes Band is Gray Walker. Gray Walker. Uh, okay, by the way, look it up. Um, also, look it up. also they got great hot sauce that we had uh, baked into slice on Broadway pizza. Quick, change so, the channel. There you go. <laughs> Street <laughs> Fire movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, anyways, so we were talking AEW. We we're trying to get Mad Mike's point here, uh, but Mad Mike did have some 
Yes, she is. Sorry, the change the channel. Sure is the channel. Movie. I saw the whole movie. It just brought me right back to that movie. It's so good. Oh, oh. Zeke, okay. Zeke, Zeke, I'm gonna dust off my Sega Saturn and we're gonna play the Street Fighter movie video game. Oh boy. No, I've seen the movie and I don't want to play the video game. Right now. Oh, my so boy. My dad got me the more combat for it's a reason. Like, Pixelated graphic or the the motion capture, like the Mortal Kombat ish graphics, right? But but so much, but so bad. (laughs) Oh, so bad. It's like if Mortal Kombat really tried to be Street Fighter. Yeah. (laughs) So let's bring it back to AEW. Speaking of Street Fighter, um, yes. And, and and things that may be underwhelming to some people. Uh, uh, Mad Mike, you did take uh, another sort of issue with the, the main event, the, the unsanctioned quote-unquote match uh, between John Moxley and Joey Janela. Yeah, so um, I, I was watching... I, full disclosure, I've never seen a Joey Janela match until Fighter Fest. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's fair. So okay. I'm, I'm going on a lot of hearsay, uh, video clips I've seen. Hearsay and speculation. And- and Here's and the, and the promo video mm-hmm. that AEW released, the promo video where Joey Janela says he wants to die in the ring, mm-hmm. and he wants Moxley to be mo- the Moxley of old and everything. And to me, that match, apart from one spot, which was cringeworthy, mm-hmm. was a monster's ball match, mm-hmm. for lack of a better term. So, the big question that we came up with is what match for you was the most hyped and the most underperformed so I was behind on being the elite so I didn't probably air or road to a um, fire fest yeah. so I didn't really watch a lot of, likewise likewise right so like I went to with the you know the kid friendly ultimate is this gonna be great you know I just, <laughs> like yeah, like it's the yeah. young bucks like I have they have all my faith is like it's gonna, gonna put them on a great show and you know Darby Allen's in it. Oh, we so got a camera out. Oh no! You know like okay. Darby Allen was in it. George, you know, like you know, you see George and stuff like on like uh, sports bar, on like uh, Facebook and all that. They like he's doing his crazy stunts. So, like, well, I expect George to do some jump off something here. Oh, you know, yeah, it's so, what right, he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, it's what I, he does. So like, the pers- last spot was cool. But like, I I enjoyed every match. I mean, Same. I, I, I enjoyed all like all the matches, even the the Leva Bates and Alley mm-hmm. match. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed it because I didn't have like I, a I, high. So so not not necessarily the, the, for the big question. We're not necessarily talking AEW. Okay. Yeah. Just just say just generally, any, any yeah. match in general. Oh, in general. In yeah. general. Yeah. Oh god. Oh, wait. oh god. That's, that's that's so many years. That, Dude, that's wait, why wait. it's a big question. Well, uh, I don't. <laughs> Lesnar and Dean. That match was yeah, terrible. That was, yeah. That was, yeah. I didn't yeah, like yeah. that one. I say I hyped up too. They had like Foley and Funk bringing the. The barbed wire and the chainsaws, like, they're not going to do any of that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got to think about that. That's probably one that comes to mind. That was like, yeah, Lesnar, yeah. Um, Rollins and Ambrose. Depends on the match. They've had some amazing matches, too. They right. Have. They have. But that, like, um, the, like, that one was just not it, brother. Uh, <laughs> also recent, uh, AJ and Nakamura at, at Mania. I love, I love, I love their feud. Oh, yeah, I, I, I was, was just talking to somebody, and they were just like, "That was great. That was, that was great how that worked." And I'm just, it was, it just came off underwhelming. But I think the, there's the only, the only downside was Shinsuke didn't win. I think, I eventually. think, I think the problem is if you've seen the f- New Japan one. Yes, it that's a, that way. It, it does. It spoils yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Because that's way different place. Okay, mm-hmm. if you're I talking mean, about like ever, um, Hideo Itami versus Bobby Roode, NXT. Yeah. Ooh. That was hyped. Okay. But like I'm not I'm not trying to cancel, please don't kill me. But, <laughs> <laughs> but like <laughs> just, <and> the, <laughs> just burst through the Sorgatron window and just snap. <laughs> oh Jesus. Uh but no, like I'm not doubting their uh, abilities, first of all. I'm not gonna be the one doubting their abilities. I, it. But in the sense of, you know, in my mind he's forever Kenta. Mm-hmm. Right. He's not gonna mm-hmm. be Hideo. No, mm-hmm. it's Kenta. Mm-hmm. It's and way then, different. And yeah. then like, you know, Bobby Roode. But it wasn't Kenta. It was just Hideo. I thought that was a fun match. I didn't think it lived up to the hype. I mean, they didn't really have a whole lot of build to begin with. That's, that's That was one of the no-build takeovers that still delivered. They mm-hmm. tend to do that, though. Even with no-build no takeovers still that, delivers. That, I did not enjoy it that much. You know, it was... it was, it was was Like, if, if it wasn't Hideo, I wanted Kenta. Mm-hmm. Because in, the, in my mind, maybe I'm wrong here. Anyone can correct me. The NXT floor, in my, my mind, is you have a bunch of character development over the coming weeks. And then you have like an unleashed version of that character on that pay per view. So Adam Cole, when he does his week to week match, is different from Adam Cole on the pay per view. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. yeah, it's Hodeo for the weeks leading up to it. 
That's fine. I want Kenta. I want him. I want to see some strong style, and I didn't really see much of it, you know. So I was like, this is not what I really wanted. Now that's that's kind of like the, I'm like I'm so hyped for this, and it was like, no, nah, no, nah, no, you're not getting yeah, that. I get that. You know, what about I you wanted s- someone to collapse after that match. You know? <laughs> so what yeah, about you? Yeah. What about you, Sorg? That seems right. That seems right. Um, well, I said mine. The 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 AJ and Nakamura. oh AJ and Nakamura. Okay, but from, I got you. from the I'm chat room, uh, somebody is mentioning one that I actually did see here in person, and that was the <laughs> barbed wire cage match between JBL and Big Show. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, in all fairness, yeah. JBL didn't have a whole lot of stellar matches in his run. Well, what? no, but he got a lot of heat. What of year heat. was this? Uh, well, he was champion. Two thousand five ish, maybe. Dude, yeah, roughly. I was speaking French back then. I didn't speak <laughs> like French is my first language. I didn't. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's yeah. crazy. I didn't know that. <laughs> like, yeah, that, that's nuts. Yeah, yeah. Zeke is he is not a native from, English speaker. No, like, I'm from America, but like everyone's like, "Oh, you're from Africa." No, so no. it's lazy Zeke squad. Oh, lazy yeah. squad. Yeah, lazy squad. Hold on, I got a what is what is squad in French? Hashtag now. Let's see. I speak Creole. Hold on. Let's see. Spell, it's L E S. Uh, L E S. Lay. Hashtag Z Squad. Yeah, I can look it up. Actually, I hate French a little bit because some words don't travel. Like you know, there's no word for siblings in French. Because I think, cause I think, <laughs> cause I think in Italian it's squadra. Squadra. <laughs> I think. Again, the big question <laughs> is what did not lead up to uh, uh, live up to the hype. Uh, I, mean, I have an easy one. You have an easy one. Oh, is it quip? I knew it. <laughs> right, is that yeah. squad? Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg. You keep it. No, uh, yeah, yeah, WrestleMania really? 20. Really? What was it? Brock WrestleMania Lesnar. 20. Oh, the, oh, the original. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, Wait, are oh, you talking about the one they, they memed to death because they made Goldberg like a Super Saiyan and all that? Like that one? Like that one? No, I'm talking about the one in 2000. I wrestle Goldberg. Oh, you talking about that one? Like when I was a child, yeah. child? I, <laughs> right. okay. When, you, when you, you were know, a child and, most, but, and, and but, just but, learning but, French. Yes. Don't, yes. Don't mention that you were a child. I was, I, I was a teenager. What was I with that? <laughs> no, I was fetus fetus. I was like, I was you want to see, you want to see young I was Mad a Mike. You want to see Mad Mike, Ma- Ma- young Mad Mike, pull up some of the early Monday Night Raws from the uh, early to mid '90s at the Poughkeepsie <laughs> Civic Center. Poughkeepsie. Yeah. I yeah. can spell that. Okay, let me get they, that. They still use the. Uh, was it? Is it early enough to where it's like they have a theme? <gasps> that oh yeah, a really old yeah. theme. Uh, like the the big raw letters. Uh, yeah. Macho Man was doing commentary. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> Your the, mad uh, Mike was at ringside, yeah, and I got talked down by Diesel. Is there a whole lot of what a maneuver? <laughs> yeah. Oh, someone did that now. There's still a lot of what a maneuver. Oh yeah, I feel like you know, I feel like that, that does happen in wrestling. Yeah, uh, a lot of love, holy shnikes, a lot of uh, love, holy shits, apparently. Yeah, Cause... Corey Graves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love it because it, it was really subtle. It, it felt real, real. Let's uh, hold on. One double check. I didn't miss anything in the chat room. I... Uh, Tina also said the Punjabi prison match. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't <laughs> watch... How big were we on the hype on that? What do we expect? <laughs> what what hype was there? Oh, my expectations we, aren't high. Do we not a Punjabi prison? I love the concept. The concept. Do you awesome. remember the videos for that? No, I don't. The Punjabi. Yeah, that man was oh, so menacing. They're like, yeah. it's the Punjabi prison. If no yeah. one can, no men can escape. Only the true men can win. Like I'm like Randy Orton's uh-huh. gonna walk in there, throw gender against all the, like the two walls, and just walk out the. I, the oh, I love the concept. Like, <laughs> the oh, great Kali so wanted for him. That's the right. Like, of. like here's the thing you, about give me, give me, know, give me Joe you know, Janela and 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 uh, John Moxley in the Punjabi prison. That'd be amazing. No, no, no. Screw that. No, because yeah. they will no, get no, stabbed. No. Lucha, Lucha Swords, Jungle Boy, Punjabi prison. Lucha Swords and Jungle Boy. Yes. Pujabi oh prison. man, can Pope? they can like AEW pick up the Punjabi prison on in a, in a garage sale or something? Uh, <laughs> please, it'd be you know, amazing. It's probably Yo, just in you, a warehouse in Texas. Do you know they have like a big warehouse with like, all that stuff? Yeah, yeah, they store so, it all. Like, yeah. yeah, so like, yeah. is that there or is it just like in boxes? Like it's just in one crate. It's like Punjabi prison. Do not open. Like <laughs> <laughs> that's a big crate. <laughs> but yeah. you know it's, how like it's you, like the you, end of Indiana Jones. Yeah, yeah, you see how like fast they can tear down a ring and set up a set. Oh yeah, they're you there. telling me that it, the Bajari prison cannot just fit in like one or two boxes but with those skills? <laughs> just, <laughs> just a bunch of bamboo, man. They just probably, probably just got some bamboo shipped toy, in. That's all. You had one of those like even the toy Punjabi tent. prison right. had at least six different baggies to assemble it. So. That's right. amazing. I think it, I think it might be a little like bit. you ever like had a little fake toy tent? You just 
Like, 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 like it's, it's all that just for six hours. It's just that. It's Lincoln Logs. It's, like, it's just Lincoln, Lincoln Logs. logs. <laughs> Oh, I love oh my it. God! I want a Lincoln Log cage and, match now. And like in a cage match, it's just like just have like one, this one wall barricade is like hanging somewhere. We That's could it. totally do a Lincoln Log elimination chamber. He, you know, all he just God always, dang. He just always <laughs> want to know where they always store elimination chamber. That thing is huge. Um, I don't care which version. If you, but if like you know, thing was the elimination huge. chamber a lot of times is in Texas. I think so. Yeah, but that like makes sense. That's but the like, thing. It, but like. What can it be contained in? It's just there. It's just like it's a whole, it's a whole thing. Oh no, they have to assemble it every time. Right, but like, how long does that take, man? It takes a it takes, it probably takes, it takes a, a while. while. Okay. Especially that one. That one's so big. Right, mm. it's so big. Like you know the original one with like the without the padding. I love that. The, that's insane. I love I love the, I love the new one because it's so much higher. Mm-hmm. Right, but like mm-hmm. the old one's like that. And, and like the LEDs, the LEDs, the LEDs like around the and the, the clear glass and everything. Yeah. That would see somebody's face just smashing the glass. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. I love a new one. People can. I feel, like, I feel like they had a lot of fun with that. Pe- pe- people bitch about it, but it's like you don't want them to be protected and, and padded. It's red like, hell in a cell. I, I think they're. Oh, I think it's so it's so it's so hard in the eyes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's so terror hard. dome. It should just make that thing like black. What, 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 that would make more sense. What, what made Vince just go? Let's make it red. Mm. All right, boys. Here's more, the more. It needs more healthy. Back in my day. I mean, yeah. I guess that's that's, yeah. that's. I mean, that that. No, that makes like, sense. It looked like all the Lego window pieces. He was like, back in my day, we had blue steel cages. Now we're gonna go from red. That's right. That's right. <laughs> oh, I, I, I love. That. I, I love the big blue. I wasn't big blue there? Cage. Wasn't there? This is one of the things where the the first majorly got my attention with the black diamond <laughs> was when they built a big blue steel cage, but it was made out of wood. I think. Hey, and this, that's undisclosed. Hey, it's just a cage. It's just they, a cage. They, that's they, all we know. They, that's they, all we know. They, they, I have, they never said it was steel. I heard Speculation. I just heard, uh, you know, on some I some have, message board somewhere. I have maybe. no comment. It is just a blue cage. Just say a blue what, cage. A bl- <laughs> <laughs> Whether it is wood or steel is yet to be determined. Where w- from? Who knows? I wasn't there at the time, as I was probably in. Uh, what year was that? Uh, a couple years ago. Which, what were you talking about? Oh, this blue, a black diamond. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's about. A, I think their last one was about a year or two ago. Yeah. The blue steel cage. Yeah, about a year, year or two. You ago. know, at that time I wasn't even watching Pittsburgh in the wrestling. That's crazy. Right. <laughs> You know the funny thing is, I went to my first Pittsburgh indie show in Wheeling, technically, because the IWC show. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, the casino. Uh, yeah, that's why I met you. Oh, that's right. That's where I met you. That's yeah. why I met you. <laughs> he was that fan, and oh. and I was that fan. And months later, I tried. Sorry, to, I have a bad memory. Dude, it's okay. It's fine because I can't remember my own like name. Sometimes I call myself Zeke, and I'm like, oh, that's not my legal <laughs> my name. Me- my, memory. <laughs> my memory is shot. It's probably, right. probably, probably probably from all the. the you should you should actually keep a camera with me every time I like try to fill out a form, and I'll put like Zeke Merce. Like ah, wait, <laughs> that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> Identity crisis. Right? Oh. <laughs> because everyone calls me Zeke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> everybody calls you Zeke, yeah. Like, everyone, like, my dad does it now. And then <laughs> it's just... My little sister, like, my brother and sister went to a fight <clears throat> show, like, oh, your name's Zeke now. It's not Z no more. It's just Zeke. So, like, I don't know my that's, name anymore. That's a problem I, that's a problem I don't have. I pull, up, <laughs> I pull up my driver's license. I have, like, I have an identity crisis. My brain just, like, cracks a little bit. Like, that's not my name. <laughs> Jeez, and you're only a year into this. Um, hey, guys. I want to throw out there. Uh, hey, we do a lot of this podcasting work. We do a lot of uh, work with the pro wrestling. And uh, we do a lot of services, sidekick media services, from sporting events to music video production to conferences and everywhere in between. Uh, this, the team, uh, myself and my uh, uh, colleagues here at Psychic Media Services have you covered uh, as a psychic to your superhero project? The next big that what next big thing uh, can they help you with? Not the Brock Lesnar next big thing, but mm-hmm. uh, find out more at Psychic Media Services dot com. All right, so um, so I want to uh, <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. We have to we have to touch on this. Uh, our friend Beastman. Uh, Husk. <laughs> Husk. Husk. So Husk. he Husk. he had a booking. Uh, I don't know. Was it in Indianapolis or something? Wait, are you talking like about the video? The video. Oh, so D-video. our friend Beastman um, had to go through TSA, and we know he has the oh, the yes, giant bone. The video. The brother. giant bone over there. This is gonna make it on TMZ just in two it weeks. It has to, to be. It. right? I hope. God, that'd be amazing. So they opened He's his bag, and man. there was a bone. You know, this is like I don't know. What is this? Did like you a, watch? Like, did you? It's watch? a big bone. Yeah, no, I watched. No, it did it. he said didn't? If it's, say, if like, it's, it's about a real the, bone, it is a real bone. It, I wait, wait, it is. 
I believe it is a real bug. No, it's real. It's real. It's no, real. I oh, it's so real. she was confused by this, our TSA Did agent. He? I can't believe he filmed this. I can't believe he got away with filming this, with filming TSA like this. You think the NSA um, would be like, stop right there. Yeah, <laughs> okay. It's still on Facebook, so. Um, she had to go to somebody else and ask about it, and they're like, well, is it wet? <laughs> So, um, Dude, look, I'd be worried too. So, Beastman, um, having some issues at TSA. Wait, do you, wh- I, I still know the name. Of, wait, do they actually like take it? Like, he can't get it back, or do you have it? No, 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 no. I, I think they let him keep it. I'm pretty sure they let him keep huh. it. Jesus. But a so, bottle of lotion but is, it is too it much. It is a giant, <laughs> like, you know, it's not a bottle of lotion or I something. I mean, to but be fair, he should probably check it next time. Right, he should check it now. Yeah. Because He's gonna get a note from the TSA. would take that. Oh my god! <laughs> They're like, uh, uh-uh. uh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. they won't let me bring a bottle of water through there. Right? Like, you you know. bring a bone? Like, what are you archaeologists and all my rest? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, just keep yelling. This belongs in a museum. <laughs> <laughs> and then be, like, I'm Indiana they, Beast man. It, like they're trying to take it away. He's, he's just screaming husk. How does like, that's always been a that's always been a question because like how many people have like weird gimmicks that they take with them, right? Mm-hmm. And like between oh, yeah. between like speaking of Stone Rock, Rockwell with a whip, you know? Yeah, uh, for, I, you know, I, I want to know how like, I want to know how mass wrestlers get through customs. <clears throat> like like just get through security in general. I'm still questioning. Like, <laughs> I'm still questioning how Zeke does with his identity crisis. Right? They're like, yeah. "What's your name, Zeke?" But it's not so like, "Oh, come on, yeah, I had it." And like, and, <laughs> and uh, please follow us to this room, sir. Right? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, start, they start checking my emails. Like, it's no, it's no scam in there, brother. I promise. <laughs> oh, no. oh, don't, 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 don't click that link. Don't click that link. <laughs> Where are you from again? <laughs> I'm not sure anymore. I'm very good at the accents. Is what you <laughs> he's, he's multicultural. Yes. Multicultural. Fantastic. Um, also, uh, so uh, yeah, the big news this week. Um, uh, the big news this week, of course, was the a uh, uh, little bit of a change at WWE. Uh, both Paul Heyman and Eric Bischoff were announced as executive directors mm-hmm. uh, for, uh, respectively, Raw and SmackDown. Um, we watched Raw, and of course, we talked about on the wrap up last night uh, a decidedly different feel for last night. I'm mm-hmm. not sure if I got that out of the first 45 minutes of SmackDown that I watched um, tonight. I think SmackDown was a little bit more subtle. A little more subtle? Okay. Mm. Their um, depth going transition so, over time. Yeah, yeah. So so they're going to be working into the rules and, in, 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 you know. I mean. I we, don't, and we are leading into the pay-per-view with stuff I kind mean, of already lined already out. Right. I don't expect Paul Heyman to come on next Monday with his cat baseball cap and ponytail and be like just like screw you Vince McMahon and just take over like, I but this isn't an happen. on-screen thing and, yeah, and, right. and Paul Heyman yeah I get that but he, Paul Heyman that. recently has even said that he, he thinks the authority figure general manager thing is completely played out so mm-hmm. we've been doing it for 20 years um, if it, you think that you'd be one on one with the Undertaker, brother, play, play, play. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I still love that joke to death, that, dude. Oh, that's dude. my thing. Uh, Teddy Hello, Long, Hello. Tag Teddy Teddy Long, February at RWA was the most fantastic experience. Oh, I'm, nice. I'm glad I missed it. You know? Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, anyways, uh, well, you can check but it out. The, you, the can big, che- the, well, you can check it out at IndieWrestling. Uh, dot network. Shameless um, plug. So shameless plug. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, Mike, Mike, your thoughts. The big development from SmackDown mm-hmm. was that it seems like Kevin Owens is a face again. Really? What? That's I mean that's cool. I think he, I think he's it's, I think it's cool because I think he was doing such a good job with the before he, John Kofi early. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. He attacked Dolph Ziggler after their loss. Well, that'll get an instant cheer. <sighs> yeah. So I mean, if I think we're gonna be getting a Dolph Ziggler Kevin Owens match at Extreme Rules, maybe okay. even from a number one contender, which well, would that's be awesome. Cool. Uh, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. No I, think, I think I think I mean Kevin's amazing. He's like a master class when it comes to heel stuff. Mm-hmm. I think that's that guy should. I think I, that guy should like just run a class at the Horn Center. Like, that's why I, I want like, him heel. No, I want, I want him, him as a face. Because but, I, but I, I can see that because I think he's he, such a good dude. Yeah, he's a family. He's yeah, such yeah. a good dude. He's a family. Like, he's a family man. He's he can speak to the blue collar crowd. Who's just he's he, also he looks, a French speaker. Yes, he is. He's he's he, learned, he, he learned English. Uh, I think watching, he learned watching, J, yeah. watching yeah, JR. Watching, JR yeah. commentary. Which is like, that that's, is the, that's a weird person to learn English from. My mom was an English teacher. That's how I learned English. <laughs> um, but anyways, I think he's, he can speak to the common man because he looks like not the usual wrestler, you know. He's, he's working hard yeah. with his hands. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. We all got it. Okay. Oh, we all got it. Okay, good. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe I'm just used to Kevin Steen. 
and I'm mm-hmm. I'm entrenched mm-hmm. with Kevin Steen. And I don't want to be that guy who only prefers to W wrestlers after like their indie name or anything. Mm-hmm. But the can't the Kevin Steen like bravado and the way he talks and carry like that's entrenched in my mind. Mm. You know what I mean? Brian da- Brian Danielson is so much different than Dan Bryan. I mean, and I prefer yeah, but and I, and not, I prefer, but not and I really. Prefer, I, I mean, prefer Steen. lately, you know, it's just I don't know. I can't. I don't know. Like, well, um, I can't find a word to like to promote like Ke- Kevin to stay heel. <laughs> It to be a work I, 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 uh, I feel like a face turn though could be maybe different, different, fresh. It could be, it could be, fresh. It could be get fresh, but yeah. they did that with the, the one of the best heel talkers with Miz. Turn but, that, face. But, but now it's actually kind of working because the crowd's actually behind him. It took him twice. Well, yeah. Sometimes, <laughs> like, sometimes that happens. <laughs> like, you know. I was like, I don't think he was the person to turn face. Well, know? yeah. At first, yeah. Now, now it kind of works. Yeah, you know, it kind of works because you set up the situation. And I love, the, I love the feud with Shane. I, I mean. I guess it was, I think the Omni two. Shane. I, I think yeah, <laughs> Omnipotent Shane, best wrestler in the universe. Jeez, best wrestler on the planet. Oh, best in the world. But you oh. know what? I give him this. He could do a shooting star better than I. I would never do a shooting star. I can, but he could do it better than me. Like that's and, cool, and, brother. And he's, like, and he's a fifty-year-old man. You're like, hey, that's all you, man. I'll stick to my uh, Japanese arm drags and my hurt. But, but no, I actually, <laughs> I actually really like the Miz and Shane feud because it's just it was good and simple. Right, you yeah. know, call his dad Potato Head, which is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are we going, are we going like anyone's gonna mention the fact that like Roman like Superman punched Vince on SmackDown like two months ago and we never heard from Vince since. Like, yeah, he's dead. Yeah, okay, he's just in retirement. That's why, home. That's why we have new executive directors. Is that why it's SmackDown? <laughs> because Triple H is like, we can't book this man. He's he's like on the floor. Like, <laughs> he's he's on the floor. We can't do it no more. He's speaking nonsense. Uh, it's like, Got to go back to Gorilla. Did he say 24-7 championship? We can't put down Tilly. <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's like, for, for me, that's been the best thing on Raw SmackDown. It has been the most fun it has thing, been. right? Because I, I feel like you get to see more just character people doing character stuff. And yeah, just yeah. people be themselves more, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. It's just our truth just carrying the show to me also, you know? Yeah, and Drake. Drake. And Drake. Drake has Drake, too. Drake has it's like by my call. And he, he's on the screen like, all right, what you going to do now, bro? <laughs> uh, I'm telling you. If we don't have footage from Drake's honeymoon, mm-hmm. oh yes, can he do oh, like yes. the Shawn Michaels belt picture thing? And no, I'm, oh my god, the room. Like, here's baby, I'm here's ready. what, <laughs> here's I, what I, I, I want, want to happen. I want the playgirl picture too. Yeah, yes, I want that all because I want the wife to come. Hold on, Mike, Mike. Mike's got an idea. Oh yeah, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, 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 but here, here's what I want to happen. It's not going to happen. All right, but I, I really want. They may take your idea though. Okay. Yeah, they might. Oh, I, I hope. I wish. <laughs> um, because the gimmick is that Drake has not consummated his marriage yet. Oh um, my God. I <sighs> propose that because Drake has been so obsessed with this title, oh. and not with his wife, <laughs> we're somehow going to get a camera <laughs> into their into their honeymoon suite, and she's going to say. It's time, and she makes him wear a blindfold, mm-hmm. and she gets on top of him like they're going to consummate the marriage, mm-hmm. and a referee comes <gasps> out from <gasps> under the bed, oh, from under the bed. That'd be great. Count, counts three, and she is the new champion, and then files for now, the Now, see, I could see that. No, no, here's what they I, should I could do. see that, but I could see it R-Truth in a wig when, oh, when, the, no. when the, camera t- the camera turns. I no. think that's a little bit trickier to pull off than Drake. But they did with they did they did as Drake as Carmella. Yeah, but um, from a distance. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But 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 it's a dar- it's a dark bedroom. Who, who knows? Disparity. You know, be you know what it would be hilarious though. Like you like they lead to a room, all your door closes, and all you hear is. She just walks out with the championship. <laughs> I, I, I think it's I think it's even funnier if if our troop was in just the wig and everything, the whole get up. Or she, like she goes to walk away from the bedroom, you know, and he has a blindfold and he just kind of our troop just creeps in from the window and just we have the wrap oh. on the window and just one, two, three. He could be housekeeping. Oh, oh. you know oh, he could be housekeeping. You know how like was it like t- today on SmackDown like everyone's chasing our troop basically? That, that's every show though. Right, okay, but everyone's chasing our troop to like a locker room, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, he was like but if but we know who walks out as a 24 7 champion for king maxwell <laughs> this needs king to happen matt hardy's child the wedding. This, it, 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 at the wedding he just uh, walks matt, out with matt, the matt hardy's instagram is teasing that yes that that'd well, be amazing well, it's just all this king chaos maxwell. king oh, maxwell was, king maverick 
All you hear is, yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. he did. And so so you, there's precedent. There is precedent. Yeah, yeah. For those who don't know, uh, uh, Drake, uh, Drake Maverick as, Ro- as Rockstar <laughs> Spud had a match against Maxwell. King yeah. Maxwell, the King son Maxwell. of Lost. the young son. The, the in- vessel. The, the vessel. The, the son of Matt Hardy yes. uh, on Impact Wrestling when they did the uh, Hardy camp, camp, compound, compound I, takeover show. Um, I will say, <laughs> show that thing. is still one of my favorite ring entrances of all time. Maxwell? It's King King Maxwell in a Power Wheels, <laughs> not driving it because Rebby is behind him using the parental controls on the Power Wheels, so it looks like it's driving itself. It's That's parental impressive. controls? Wait a minute. I didn't, I yeah. didn't know about this. Yeah, yeah I didn't know they I, had that now. That's great. Sorry, sorry, I did you not see my car out there? Years. It's parental control. My mom got me here. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. But no, uh, like, again, a reminder, hashtag Zeke Squad. Uh, uh, Zeke Squad. Zeke Squad. Lays, lay Zeke Squad. Okay. Le, le, what, what, what I'm getting rid of that because it's confusing. Uh, equip. Equip. Lay Zeke Equip. Lay Zeke Equip. I looked it up. I haven't used that word in forever. <laughs> but, yeah. Wow. Um, lay Zeke Equip. Man, if there's ever like a French language Lucha Underground type of concept, we gotta get Zeke on um, because we oh need. To- <laughs> I don't yeah. want to do that. I don't want to do that commentary. You ever seen like a Frenchman talk fast? Oh my god! It's, <laughs> like, I, I, it's I've seen it's pretty fast. No, it's like I I get lost and I'm a French speaker. I'm like, oh, who, what are we talking? You about? could just have like the Pixar version of Ratatouille. Anyone can wrestle. Yeah. <laughs> All these people in different masks, but there's, but, there's, but there's a rat underneath the mask. Yeah, it's a rat controlling them. Like, all right, now this is this is how you do a, a, This is a Canadian destroyer, and this is, <laughs> <laughs> this and is everyone. Super. Everyone looks like they're marionettes in the ring. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. Jeez. Someone just gets scooped up with a power, like a body slam, it's like and like. All right, now you got to play to the crowd, and they just. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. Well, uh, a lot of stuff going on. Of course, uh, these guys all over the place. And uh, here in the Pittsburgh area, uh, we have a lot of wrestling. Oh, like a lot. So a much. lot of so wrestling. Much wrestling. The ground Holy is crap. The ground is saturated with wrestling. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. You stop, you stop so there's a stop. lot going on. Uh, the hell is next month. There's, there's of course, Fight Society moving to Fridays. There's First RWA Friday the next day. Uh, there's a Bruno San Martino uh, Foundation show happening in Monroeville uh, really? this month. Yeah. Oh, uh, with song. NEW. And uh, Corey Graves is actually going to be there. I think I think Corey Graves and Sam Adonis, the brother Brothers reunite on that show, yeah. uh, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, of course, uh, 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 rise with a Y. Uh, you're a the y. poster boy for that. Uh, uh, yep. What was it? Two PW is going to be this month with Pasta Death Match Two. Fans bring the pasta weapons, dude. It's going to be wild. <laughs> yeah. oh, all of the wrestling, Deathmatch. all of the wrestling in Pittsburgh is condensed into two weekends. Yes, this month. it's crazy. <laughs> we don't need a WrestleMania. We just have a month of summer, like July. Hey, like, we're gonna run now. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. Every, no, no. This is like every month. All the shows. This is like every month. All the Angel shows. Angel Gate, so much. You never know what's going on. Kaiju Big Battle was just here. Kaiju Big Battle. Yeah. Out. You ever Wait, wish? I miss Kaiju. You ever wish? Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah we. Oh, see, you weekend. ever wish that there was a way to schedule all the local wrestling in your area? Well, you're in luck in the Pittsburgh area. Uh, our, uh, we have uh, Pittsburgh Wrestling and a calendar that covers news and information about local wrestling plus a calendar a calendar clown calendar calendar a calendar full of clown calendar that's the that's for pittsburgh circuses.com you can um, see where doink is wrestling at all times yes. <laughs> <Doink> <laughs> any of the doinks um <laughs> local wrestling cool. plus a calendar to uh help you uh to know who's running when check it out at pittsburgh wrestling.com and see some of the wrestling you've been missing um, and, uh, you know, it's really good in, in case WA also Ooh. running, uh, I think that in two Saturdays or something too. So no matter what side of Pittsburgh you're on, you have choices. So, uh, go check it out. Pittsburgh wrestling.com. Um, so uh, yes, uh, uh, with that, I want to find out what you guys learned in wrestling this week. Oh, thank Darby you. Darby Allen is still a maniac, but he's winning doing national television. There you go. He got a hell. He got a <laughs> hell of a platform there. <laughs> like that's some scary stuff. What I learned mm-hmm. in wrestling. Mm-hmm. Uh, what I learned in bowling school this week is well, I learned. In bo- <laughs> I'm trying to think. There's a lot of things. What about you, man, Mike? Oh God, I I learned a lot this week. I I learned that. Um, Sir, shots are not fun. 
Oh no, I knew that. No, no, we um, learned that. We, we, we always anyone, anyone who's seen Mick Foley recently knows that. Mm, <laughs> uh, well, um, boy, I don't know. He conducted a wedding a couple weeks ago. Yes, he yeah, did. Yeah, I wasn't invited to, which is very sad. Missy was there. Missy and Dutters were there. I want to go. Mm-hmm. And I'm mad. Kind of not really mad, but I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> just, just start I a want to go. I like <laughs> yeah, you have some footage to go through. Um, uh, I'll, I'll get some footage. But I, I learned that. Um, Relationships in wrestling are very difficult. Oh, that's oh, that's, that's so awkward. It's so awkward. Oh, wait, what? Uh, uh, Kevin Bennett and Maria, uh, Canella. Oh, uh, wait, yeah, that I segment. Know. I didn't want to talk about that segment. That made me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> no, no, I think it's great. No, that wasn't okay. Uh, I, think, <laughs> I think it's great. No, that was just that was. Uh, just... And Seth, and, Seth and Becky look so awkward. They do. It's like it's like. Uh, you know, what remind me of middle school. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was trying. I, I, I no, remind you of middle school. Yeah. I knocked. I knocked over the coffee cup. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did remind you just have? Did you have somebody yell at you? You can't um, impregnate me in in middle no, school. No, it's just how awkward it sat and raw. No, so just everything uh, felt Becky. like that. It's like, how, it's like how are you pregnant? Well, you're not doing it. I'm like, Whoa. oh, what's happening? What is going <laughs> on? See, that's I, just th- I think it's an excellent opportunity for Mike Kanellis. It, it was a fresh character on the screen. Fresh and, character. And, uh, Mike Kanellis has never been on Raw. Dude, that you tell already you, that's your favorite screamed, song. That's a good song. That already screams new to me. Like I said, like, I, I missed the. I, I don't like the thing, but I'm happy he's on Raw. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I don't really I care think he's very him. good. Um, I didn't know he was in the first uh, version of The Kingdom for Ring of Honor. Uh-huh. Yep, yep. yep. And yep. I watched it. It's like, I want this one. <laughs> I don't want this, the other mile. Like, I, oh, I will say this: this he's he's the best story in two hundred five live because he's the he's the he's the he's the guy that's always losing. He always finds ways to lose. That's been kind of his story, but they actually made it an interesting story. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, and the way he walked fair, out, that was pretty cool. I, I okay, think this my always man, uh... the ultimate version of that story mm-hmm. because he came in, he took Maria's last name as the story. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like they didn't come in Mike and Maria Bennett. They came in Mike and Maria Canellis. This is this is just skipping to the end of that story, I think. Mm-hmm. And plus, it gives it's a good reason to get Maria off of TV because she's actually pregnant. That's true. Yeah, yeah. So, so like I, he can have a whole redemption arc of proving himself. That's like the second kid, right? Yep, second. Yeah. Oh, congratulations! Their bro. first child is the cutest baby All in right. the world. I mean, I followed them on at least Maria on Instagram, but like. I don't check Instagram. <laughs> I think they said it was like a twelve pound baby. Jesus, like, it's like jeez. <sighs> it's it's, it's and she a... and she wrestled in Evolution a couple months after that. Yeah, she the Battle Royal. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. That's insane. Like, good on her. Mm-hmm. And Mar- Maurice too. Maurice was like six months yep. old baby when she wrestled that Mania that one time. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, and, and that's all documented in Miz and Mrs. too. Like with yeah. her game. Yeah. wrestlers are another breed. It is though. it is crazy. Like all those and and Rosa Mendez too with the friend of Indy Mayhem show. Like, oh yeah, they're, yeah, they're, yeah. They're they're post like pregnant to like getting back in the shape like runs. You know, are are really yeah. And if you watch um oh um Brooke Adams, who, Brooke and TNA. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like she. Yeah. She's uh, had a few kids and she's still in phenomenal. She's still, she's still what the the former test uh, test uh, test marker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What well, um, about Massa Ray? She recently came back, but I haven't seen her lately. Yeah, she was not even seen. She, yeah, uh, yeah, but like she's been ring of honor for a while and and May Young Classic. Yeah, and like I just haven't seen her since. I don't know what happened. Who are we talking about? Massa Ray. Rain. Mass and Rain. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she, I don't yeah, know, did she, she have kids? She had a few kids like a few years back, and then like she came back for a while and. May Young Classic, awesome Ring shape. of Honor, and she can still wrestle. She was really nice. And then, like, all of a sudden, I'm, like, I watch Ring of Honor on television, and, like, I just don't see her no more. I'm like, what happened? Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Jeez, what did I learn? Um, I learned that you can hide a steel bar in a baguette. Yes, yes, you steel can. Steel bar in a baguette. And I'm still questioning what, how a baguette was, was Italian. Um, but uh, uh yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah. Spoiler alert, it's not. It's not. I, it was a cheap I learned that I'm glad I wear boots that are really hard to get off, so I don't make take off my boots too easy to put my feet in fun times. <laughs> hey! My wrestling shoes are strapped to my feet. Yep. Mm. <laughs> mm. Two to to my feet. <laughs> like you don't even want to be like in the match after the tax. No, no, that's I don't. Why, that's why that match like, is last. Yeah, that's what that yeah, match yeah. Is which last. I think you were in a match after one that involved tax a few months ago, weren't you, Zeke? <laughs> I've been too. Yeah, yeah, but that the, the ring was cleared. We made sure though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that, that's a match that you either you do that 
before intermissions. That way we can clean it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do it last. That's what happened. They did no in between. Yeah, I think they also uh, uh, blood tax and pasta. They need to, they need well, clean up time. Well, okay. <laughs> blood tax and pasta. The blood. The, oh, that classic match. That's a book. That, that is like that's like Chess Flexor's like biography. There oh. is blood tax and 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 I have, and pasta. I have not and met Chess Flexor. Che- you oh, have not met Chess Flexor. You have met Not like oh. you need to. Oh. I got seen his stuff. I just never met him personally yet. He's a. He's a. He's a he's There's he, a lot of people I haven't not he, met. He's, a good he's dude. an interesting cat. He's very interesting. Yes. <laughs> he's a good dude. I really knew. Really I knew he was a bird. Yep, him and uh, <laughs> him, him and his wife Ginger. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's yeah, all enough. That's all oh, I sorry, know. Uh, watch his watch his yeah. Thailand videos. Oh yeah, uh, the okay. Thailand. They went to Thailand for their honeymoon. Ask thing. about the time he signed pieces of pizza. So uh, uh, okay, follow. Okay, here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me. So damn it! Uh, Long time <laughs> mayhemers know that there's a. I actually had to tell the signed piece of pizza story to somebody Saturday <laughs> night. Because there were people that were getting pieces of the baguette signed. <laughs> so he had me tell this pizza story to the baguette's autograph person. Of course, as you should. The story is uh, Super Indie, I want to say seven, but I feel like it was six. The one where Larry Sweeney won. Um, there was a match and our friends uh, Doc Remedy and Chad the Shad um, got pizza at the Palisades. The legendary Palisades, by the way. Um, in McKeesport and uh, got the got the pizza signed and one of them left the pizza the slice of pizza in the back of their car for a while and it basically <laughs> became petrified and it was reunited with Chess Flexor about 10 years later <laughs> so Jesus. so oh, there's that uh, guys you guys have a lot going on uh, uh, w- w- what's going on? Uh, uh, Keith, of course, Black Diamond this weekend. Yep, Black Diamond this weekend. There's uh, uh July the sixth. Uh, this uh, Saturday. That's the one in Benwood, that's, West uh, Virginia. That's the one in uh, that's the one in Moundsville. There's oh, a, sorry. It's a two. It's like early, early Monday, two o'clock show in Moundsville. Oh, that's Saturday. Yeah. So no, wait. there's there's one Saturday, then there's also a Sunday one. That's the usual place at the, the Diamond Plex. Yeah. Oh. I'm not on that show. I'm not on that show. I'm on the the July twelfth one. Yeah, that's the one after the, the, yeah. the, two, the, the two shows, the River Fest. There's 12th and 13th, and yeah. the next week. So yeah, they have. There's four. There's three black diamond. Four black diamond shows. Wow. In, in two weeks. I'm only filming one. <laughs> <laughs> Which? Oh, you should come to the River Fest. We didn't talk about. We talk about the cannon. It's a, They're it's, shooting Ohio. Can we not shoot Ohio? I thought that's that starts. Yeah, because literally, because we're on the river, the river by the McMeckin, and they, mm-hmm. and they and they and they and literally, there's a guy dressed as a mountaineer. They fire a cannon, and I always pretend they're shooting it at Ohio because screw Route Seven in Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> can we can we have something in, like in Pittsburgh where we just shoot across the mon? Oh, if only shoot across the mon. Just pew, just because, just because. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it, and my, my fair part is when my own time thing went off during a match. The cannon did because they fired throughout the entire time, right. and then nobody tells us they're gonna shoot during the match too. It scared somebody during the match, I think. What are you supposed to do? Bump after that? B- <laughs> Boom! Bump! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have oh, flashbacks. There, there's, there's a there's a social media video. Oh, uh, the river the river fest is fun. You can be who else can love fair food? Mm-hmm. You know? I love. See, fair food is dangerous. It, it's del- it's, yeah, it's 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 delicious and dangerous. But it's dangerous. So if you are coming to the river fest or the Met Mitchum show, um, be careful. Um, spend money <laughs> wisely. Um, <laughs> I don't wish ill upon anybody. <laughs> and that, that, that's two days in a row because there's the Friday one, the 12th and the 13th is also yeah, so the two days thing. It's uh, early. It's late, like six or seven, I believe. Come, come see I some, was checking my phone, but my phone is dead. And then, come see you, some, can, you can see all those listed on Black Diamond Universe on Facebook, I yes, believe. Black, actually, right? Black I, Universe. actually, I am doing double duty. The twelfth, because I go to the Black Diamond Fight and, Society. and then Fight Society. Yep. I'm that's do, right. I and, am going to be in gear the whole day. Zeke, what is that, going on with Fight Society? Is our first Friday show. Like that's 12, right. Eight good p.m. Luck. Um, that's, right. That's, that's, that's that's good. I like that time slot for Friday. It's a, it's a nice time actually. Because mm-hmm. especially if you had a school night or something. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. like you know, give a little bit more time to get there. Because you know, be honest with you, like when I know the wrestle Saturday, like Friday, she's full of angst. You know, you know, like mm-hmm. I'm ready to fight right now. You got a lot of energy to get out. Right? And like if I go off work, you know, I'm ready to wrestle right there. It, but like it, now, I can do it. I can go off work uh, and she'd be like, "All right, I'm about to wrestle." I will say, fr- Friday night fights. <laughs> fi- Friday night fight society has a good ring to it. Yes, it does. Mm-hmm. Friday, a, I'll give it that. It kind of rolls off that the could be, well. That could be a, another T-shirt. Yeah, it could be. Z Squad, mm. and then, Z-Squad. <laughs> and then uh, Friday Night Fights. 
in the fight side. Let Zeke equip it. Let Zeke equip it and <laughs> fight side. <laughs> Fantastic. And of course, Zeke Mercer and uh, Hot Hot Junior on the social media. Yep, right? at Hot Junior, yeah. uh, Instagram and Twitter. And you can also find me on Facebook. Just yeah, keep everything. I'm not too hard to find. <laughs> yeah, you type in Zeke Mercer, you're going to find me with mm-hmm. my, you know, little wannabe cool picture on, <laughs> on social <laughs> media you know what i mean <laughs> uh and of course these guys if you can check out uh, on the uh, uh, uh facebook and uh, youtube for indie wrestling.us you can check out some clips and matches and even more over at indie wrestling.us and indie wrestling.network uh including some exclusive stuff over on the network side too man i i think i think i can i think zeke and keith uh show should be a uh we can do it a network stuff. show maybe well, I can let's get the Zeke squad together. Let's get the there Zeke squad. Go. There we go. Let me get Jordan Styles in here. Hold on. Oh geez, I know he'd let be, me, he'd be get, game. He'd be let game. Let me get Jordan and Bro <laughs> If we bring and Jordan there, we're gonna go. talk we're, me and Jordan's gonna talk about anime. <laughs> I don't care. We can talk about sword art. Sword art's pretty good. We can cool. we can talk about sword art and then uh Goblin Hunter because I heard Goblin Hunter's really good. Gotta watch that. Bro Um <laughs> also you're on the poster for Rise. Oh yeah, yeah. Me and uh Badger. That's Honey right. Bear. It's like I love the yeah, non-disclosed. Uh, I'm just gonna say, came of the White Lion. <laughs> <laughs> Next to the Lion King. All right, well, what was it? You know, I've only met like honey badger. It's, it's, it's nothing. It's just a sunset. It's just, like, it's just a sunset. I gotta see. I haven't seen you guys like Russell in person. Oh, you haven't seen it. I've, you can catch that on Sorgatron Media. Wrestling Network. There you go. I want. I'll, I'll do yeah, that. Yeah, but I want to see it live. <laughs> well, um, so I may just you know. Uh, <laughs> I know we're. I think we got our plans to go do a show in camera the promotion because it's it just got told to me, but we're gonna do it one in Dayton, I believe. Oh, wow. oh, nice! So it's gonna be pretty fun. Nice. Yeah, it's like a Halloween party show, I think. Ooh. Oh, in October, so cool. Can we have an episode? We'll probably see to get more to it. Rise just uh, depends on the plans. I'm not sure what's right. all happening. I want to see on tw- that's on the 20th. I'm not sure what all's quite happening yet. I mean, I love Pittsburgh wrestling, man. It's just every it's just everything happens all at once here. Yeah, so it's hard to keep it's track. Just, of. There's so much wrestling. It's hard to keep track like, of. It's oh hard to keep God. track of sometimes. There's so much going on. God forbid if you work at more than one uh, <laughs> um, wrestling promotion, you work into like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> yep, yeah. yep, you've been working you, out right. You, you gotta like, you know, work your, you know, your job and oh, now I gotta go wrestle. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, just finish, finish the midnight shift. All right. All right. Let's now, go do this. Let's go do this. <laughs> let's get it. Uh, all right, go check them out, guys. Uh, Mad Mike483 on the Twitters. Woo! Yes, and if anyone spoils Spider-Man for me before Friday, I will find you Everyone and I will dies. end you. Mm-hmm. Don't spoil Spider-Man. Everyone dies, brother. Everyone, <laughs> <laughs> Everyone gets got. Uh, Sugarchan on the Twitter. Thank you, everybody. And uh, check out Indie Mayhem Show. Uh, newcomer uh, Xander Gabriel will be <gasps> on there. If you have not seen this guy yet, you <laughs> are in for a treat. He's going to be a hoop. There are some clips. Uh, the Black Diamond, there's a clip of Black Diamond. He was in a tag match there. And, of course, he was also... A few gifts up there on the indie wrestling.us uh, Giphy page. Uh, Giphy. I need, a, I need to link that somewhere. I know we've been tweeting Giphy. it, but it's not easy to find. We should call it the Jiffy Giphy page. Giphy. 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 Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Zeke and Keith and Mike and uh, producer Missy, of course, for putting up with this. She's Thank only you. told me she Thank wanted. Thank you, Missy. Thank you, Missy. She's <laughs> only texted me that she wanted to stab me once during this show. So oh, that is. Oh, that's true. Oh. We'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. Wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time in the Don't give up what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time in the This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.